Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Villain. My strength depends entirely on the imagination of the heroine. Chapter 81. Ling Shui smiled faintly, and then put the piece away. The fragments melted into his palm and merged directly into his sea of energy. After going back, slowly try to see if this fragment can forcefully break through the barrier of Shira Purgatory Tower. Now, there's one more thing to do. Dragon Control Code. Take all the treasures here and distribute them. Ling Shui then waved. Demon gates generally don't build places like treasure pavilions. Things from the demon sect have always been distributed to everyone. If there is meat, everyone eats it and hides it, it's just a waste. Xiao Shangyu and others nodded, and then they put the things here neatly into the storage ring. Ling Shui's eyes then turned towards Lan Yue. Now that the matter in 36 immortal palaces has been resolved. That's also the time to get the good thing called Dragon Control Code. The Dragon Clan of the Holy Beast Continent. Daughter still waiting for me to take care of them. Your mother left the Dragon Controlling Code to you back then. Ling Shui then asked, Where? The Divine Code of Controlling the Dragon, does not belong to me. Lan Yuea replied, Before she died, my mother only told me that she kept the Dragon Controlling God's Codex. She did not give the Dragon Controlling God's Codex to me. Oh, then, where is she hiding? Ling Shui then asked. Broken Sword Tomb. Lan Yuer replied in a low voice. That place. Ling Shui narrowed her eyes slightly. There is a dead land without any grass. It is also the place where Lan Yuea's father died. Back then, Lan Yuea's father fought with a thousand opponents and died together. The desolate ruins of the battlefield were left behind. It is indeed very reasonable to store the dragon controlling God's collection in that dead place where no one cares about it. Because there is not only a desolate battlefield ruins, but, it is also a poisonous land. Lan Yuea's father is a special practitioner of the innate poison body. The place where he fell was, of course, completely silent. Within a radius of dozens of miles, no living creature could be seen. Go get it now. Ling Shui then waved his hand. After cleaning up the sole returning demon sect, the next target is Xuanmai Tianzong. The Taishuan Empire is gone, and so are the 36 immortal palaces. The next target is of course the Xuanmai Tianzong who is also in Yuanyang continent. Yes, Xiao Shangyu and others nodded. Immediately afterwards, Ling Shui took Lan Yuea and left, leaving everyone behind to clean up the mess and collect the results. Broken Sword Tomb. This was once an extremely ancient sword sect. Many years ago, Lan Yuea's father killed the sword sect in order to take revenge. In the end, he died together with everyone in the sword sect. Then, this place became the Broken Sword Tomb. A place where even lonely ghosts don't bother to visit. Here, within a radius of dozens of miles, it is dark, as if in a dense search. And these thick fogs are highly poisonous. Therefore, no living creatures can be seen around. Not even a blade of grass can be seen. However, it is such a barren land, such a dead land. Today someone came. In the thick gray fog and poisonous gas, she stood there quietly. A head of snow-white crystal long hair slowly fluttered with the subtle poisonous wind. Wearing a snow-white dress, she wrapped her well-proportioned and exquisite body. From a distance, she looked like a white-haired fairy. In the thick fog, her whole body seemed to be exuding a layer of snow-white halo. This stunning fairy in white clothes and white hair is naturally none other than someone else. It's young Luoxi. Young Luoxi now has the cultivation level of the late Tianxuan mirror, so she can survive staying in the broken sword tomb for a while. Of course, it's only for a short time. If she stayed here for a long time, she wouldn't be able to bear the poisonous gas around her. And the reason why she appears here is of course, Yu Ming Yao Huo. Since absorbing the sub-fire of the White Underworld Demon Fire, she has a certain ability to sense the White Underworld Demon Fire. Within a hundred miles, she can have subtle sensations. She had only been away from Lingxu sect for three days, but she didn't expect to notice the existence of a bunch of fire. So, she entered this uninhabited land alone. At this time, a cluster of snow-white flames was already floating on young Luoxi's jade hand. She's already got it. She got it from underneath the poisonous swamp in front of her. Presumably, the people of Zhanzong had this Tuanzi Huo back then, and then they died together with Lan Yurier's father, leaving this Tuanzi Huo here. 
Young Luoxi's mind then moved, and this small cluster of flames merged into her body. With the experience of fusing Zaihuo before, she will certainly not have any difficulty fusing Zaihuo now. After all, she herself has become the master of the Baming Demon Fire. With the integration of this Tuanzi fire, her strength has been improved again. Peak of Tianxuan Mirror, but it is still a little short of the Shenyuan realm. After all, there is a huge gap between these two realms. It is not easy to completely cross over. But she was confident that if she found another cluster of fire, she would be able to break through to the Divine Origin realm. But now, she is not in a hurry to find the next hot spot. She was more concerned about another thing she accidentally discovered under the poisonous swamp just now. It was an extremely ancient scroll. After absorbing the sub-fire of the Baming Demon Fire, she took out the scroll. Then spread your hands gently. As soon as you catch the eye, the first line is four big characters. Dragon Control Code. Dragon Taming Code. Of course young Luoxi didn't know the origin of this thing. She just found it obscure and difficult to understand. And, it's a little out of touch with reality. What Kong controls the Dragon Clan? The Dragon Clan is the overlord of the Holy Beast Continent, and its overall strength is much stronger than the Taishuan Empire. Can you control the Dragon Clan with the things inside? It's more or less an idiot's dream. Young Luoxi didn't pay much attention to it. After putting away the scroll, she rose into the air little by little and planned to leave. Buzz. But at this moment, just when her figure had just reached midair. In front of her, a blood-red spatial distortion suddenly appeared. When she saw the blood-red space distortion, young Luoxi's pretty face suddenly changed slightly. Could this blood-red color be? Sure enough, under young Luoxi's gaze, Ling Shui walked out of the blood-red space. When she saw Ling Shui, young Luoxi raised her eyebrows slightly. How could I meet him in such a ghost place? What is he doing here? And, who is this person next to him? Young Luoxi glanced at the girl with dark blue soft hair and delicate appearance next to Ling Shui. Got a new love again. There are so many women around him. When Ling Shui came, of course he noticed Yun Luoxi's presence. Immediately, a smile appeared on his face. It seems that we are quite destined. Yun Luoxi just looked away from him and then withdrew her gaze. Fate. This is fate. Are you alone? Ling Shui slowly floated over and looked at Yun Luoxi. Nothing to do with you. Yun Luoxi said coldly. You came to such a dangerous place alone. How could you survive if you encountered danger? Ling Shui smiled faintly, raised her hand while speaking, and stretched it towards Yun Luoxi's pretty face. But he was slapped away by Yun Luoxi, and he still gave the same answer, it has nothing to do with you. If something happens to you, I will feel sorry for you. There was a strange smile on Ling Shui's lips. If something really happened to Yun Luoxi, his super cheat would be gone. As soon as Ling Shui said this, the blue head behind him suddenly moved his eyebrows slightly. Who is this woman? She was born like a fairy, extremely clear and beautiful, unstained by dust. So perfect that there is no next time. Even Lan Yue had to admit that she couldn't compare to such a face. What is her relationship with Ling Shui? Ling Shui seems quite special to her. Otherwise, with Ling Shui's temperament, which woman would dare to be so cold and presumptuous to him? At this time, Yun Luoxi also raised her head and gave Ling Shui a hard look. Still feeling distressed, do you feel distressed too? If you felt sorry for me, why did you treat me like that? I guess. Dot you left Ling Shu sect. Ling Shui then smiled lightly and said, come out to practice alone. The effect is pretty good. Has this reached the peak of Tianxuan Mirror? Of course he could guess that Yun Luoxi had gone out alone to practice. And, Dot the Baming Demon Fire in her body became a little stronger. Probably in the past few days, she found another cluster of destruction. As expected of a heroine, she is very lucky. Nothing to do with you. Young Luoxi spat out these four words again. After saying three words in a row that it had nothing to do with you, she turned around and swept away into the distance. Just at the moment when he turned around, his eyes subconsciously met Lan Yue's. Just a moment. No one can see anything. Looking at young Luoxi walking away, Ling Shui certainly didn't stop her. He just smiled faintly and then looked away. Then, he and Lan Yue swooped down towards the poisonous swamp ahead. 
Back then, Lan Yue's mother was the one who directed the dragon taming code into this poisonous swamp. Ling Shui, covered in bloody aura, opened the way ahead and led Lan Yue all the way to the bottom of the swamp. However, when they came down here, there was nothing. The dragon taming code they wanted was gone. How come? Lan Yue frowned slightly. This is what my mother said to put here. As she spoke, she glanced around. It might be somewhere else here. If you look for it, you might just find it. Probably, someone got there first. Ling Shui shook his head. But, no one knows about this. Besides, it's impossible for anyone to come to this place. Lan Yuer frowned. Ling Shui smiled. Isn't that, just a human being? As soon as these words came out, Lan Yuer suddenly came back to her senses. So, it was the white-haired woman who just took away the dragon control code. She probably came here to look for something else, and then happened to encounter the dragon taming code, so she took it away. Ling Shui shook her head with a smile. So she is the daughter of luck. Such good things can happen to her. She shouldn't have gone far, chase her. Lan Yuer said quickly. Ling Shui nodded. Then he rushed out with Lan Yuea and chased after Yun Luoxi. Yun Luoxi did not go far, and her speed was certainly not as fast as Ling Shui. But as she flew towards the distance, she was thinking about what Ling Shui said just now. Does he really feel sorry for himself? How much of what a person like him says is sincere? How can I be sure that he is not teasing me? Of course Yun Luoxi was not sure for a while. And just as she was thinking this, the figures of Ling Shui and Lan Yue suddenly appeared in front of her with a swish sound. Yun Luoxi stopped immediately and looked at Ling Shui. What else does he want to do? You just took something from there, right? Ling Shui looked at her and asked. Hearing this, Yun Luoxi frowned slightly. So, the reason why he appears here is for that. Dragon controlling divine code. So what? Yun Luoxi continued without denying it. Does this guy still want to fight with me? Does he want to rob everything? Give it to me. Ling Shui stretched out his hand directly. You still want to snatch something from me? Young Luoxi's face turned cold. Have you stolen too much from me? Still want to grab it now? Of course I can steal it, but it's a relic left by her mother. Ling Shui continued. It's something her mother put here. I don't think you can keep it as your own. As soon as these words came out, Young Luoxi looked at Lan Yuea with her beautiful eyes. Is that what happened? If Ling Shui wanted to rob him, she would definitely resist to the end. But if it was left by someone else's mother, of course she should return it to someone else. After all, this is a relic. Young Luoxi's outlook on life is relatively upright, but it's not like Ling Shui's magic sect, where she just grabs it if she wants it. What's mine is mine, and what's yours is mine. However, when Yun Luoxi looked at Lan Yu's child, she couldn't help but ask, Who is she to you? Who? Ling Shui glanced at Lan Yuea, thought for a moment, and replied, She is my sister. There are two people who have been with Ling Shui since he was a child. One is Xiao Xiao, but Xiao Xiao only entered the demon sect later. There is another one, of course, Lan Yuea. It can be said that Lan Yuea has been with Ling Shui since birth. There is an age gap of about two years between the two, so they have truly grown up together. Therefore, calling Lan Yuea her sister is too much. After all, the relationship between Lan Yuea's mother and her father was enough to be called brother and sister. Hearing Ling Shui's answer, Lan Yuea frowned slightly. Younger sister. In his heart, she is just a sister. She doesn't want to be a sister. She has never thought about being Ling Shui's sister since she was a child. But now that Ling Shui said this, of course she couldn't refute anything. He just pouted slightly and said nothing. When Yun Luoxi on the opposite side heard Ling Shui's answer, she felt inexplicably relieved for some reason. I didn't expect that he had a sister. Sister, the relationship is better than any other. Immediately afterwards, Yun Luoxi took out the scroll and threw it towards Lan Yuea. Lan Yuea quickly caught it, and then said very politely, Thank you. My name is Lan Yuea. May I ask my sister? Dot how do you call me? Facing the smiling Lan Yuea, Yun Luoxi certainly couldn't refuse her enthusiasm. Probably because she knew that she was Ling Shui's sister, she did have an inexplicable friendly attitude towards Lan Yuea. Yun Luoxi. So, 
She also said her name. Sister Yun. Lan Yuea smiled and then asked. Sister Yun, when did you meet? She obviously wanted to know more about the relationship between Ling Shui and Yun Luoxi. After all, this white-haired woman was less beautiful than any woman she had ever seen. Maybe, the relationship between Ling Shui and Yun Luoxi is really special than others. No, Yun Luoxi glanced at Ling Shui coldly, I'm not familiar with him. What kind of understanding is this? The relationship between her and Ling Shui was not considered acquaintance, it could only be said that they were enemies. Not familiar, Lan Yurier looked confused. Are you really unfamiliar? This is obviously not the case for you. Yun Luoxi didn't say anything more. After giving Ling Shui a cold look, she wanted to leave. But at this moment, Ling Shui suddenly spoke, We are only half a step away from the Divine Origin Realm. If there is another sub-fire of the Baming Demon Fire, we will definitely be able to step into the Divine Realm. As soon as these words came out, Yun Luoxi immediately stopped in his tracks. What does he mean when he says this? Then, under her gaze, Ling Shui suddenly flicked her finger. A cluster of snow-white flames suddenly burned at Ling Shui's fingertips. Seeing this scene, Yun Luoxi's pretty mood changed slightly. He actually still has a bunch of fire in his hand. Where did he come from? Do you want to? At this moment, Ling Shui looked at Yun Luoxi, and a strange smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Yun Luoxi said nothing. If Ling Shui's conditions were the same as last time and she was asked to say those words, she would rather not. She didn't bow her head last time, and certainly not this time. For you. But at this moment, just when Yun Luoxi thought that Ling Shui wanted to make some excessive demands again, Ling Shui just flicked her finger, and the cluster of flames floated towards her and floated in front of her. R. Yun Luoxi was immediately confused. That's all. He actually gave it to himself like this. No additional conditions. This is not in line with your usual style Ling Shui. I am a very reasonable person. If you are willing to return the dragon control code, I should naturally give you what you want in exchange. Ling Shui then smiled lightly. Yun Luoxi was speechless and just looked at him without speaking. Are you still reasonable? Is there anyone in the world who is more unreasonable than you, Ling Shui? You're being reasonable, why did you treat me like that? Don't you want it? Ling Shui looked at Yun Luoxi and continued. Yun Luoxi looked at the cluster of snow-white flames floating in front of her. She never expected that Ling Shui would actually give it to her unconditionally. Since... Ling Shui doesn't have any conditions, of course she is willing. Don't want it for nothing. Although she has a proud temperament and a strong backbone. But, this is not considered charity. This was given to her by Ling Shui as a thank you, of course she wanted it. This is a good opportunity to break through to the divine origin realm, and only idiots don't want it. Immediately, Yun Luoxi raised her jade hand and melted the ball of fire into her palm. Then he looked up at Ling Shui and planned to leave. Is it difficult to say thank you? Ling Shui suddenly said at this time. Yun Luoxi stared at him with beautiful eyes. Then he replied coldly, I will never let you go. It is of course impossible for him to say thank you to Ling Shui. On the contrary, even if Ling Shui gave her a ball of Baming Demon Fire this time, she would not let Ling Shui go. Because this time, it's not like she owes Ling Shui any favor. It's just an exchange. After saying something coldly, Yun Luxi turned around. One last look at Lan Yue. You are much more pleasing to the eye than your brother. After saying that, he jumped away. Lan Yue and Ling Shui were left standing there. Quote dot 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 quote. Lan Yue frowned. She actually didn't want Yun Luxi to think that she was Ling Shui's sister. Even if she is a younger sister, she is not a biological sister but the kind of sister who can do anything. Ling Shui, with a faint smile on her lips, sent a message to Yun Luoxi who was retreating, if you encounter danger in the future, please report my name. Unnecessary, Yun Luoxi replied coldly, Wang De Hao, and then disappeared from the sight of Ling Shui and Lan Yue. Ling Shui shook her head with a smile and said nothing more. It would certainly be much more convenient if Yun Luoxi was alone and could reach the divine Yuan realm. After all, he really didn't want Yun Luoxi to encounter any danger. She is my precious plug-in. But, dot she is a girl of luck, 
so under normal circumstances, she is safe. Basically there is no need to worry about her. Young master, what kind of relationship does she have with you? At this time, Lan Yuea next to her asked a question. Why are you asking so much? Ling Shui rubbed Lan Yuea's head. I, Lan Yuea suddenly pouted her mouth. When she asked what our relationship was, you answered readily. When I asked you what your relationship was, you didn't tell me. Why, that's not fair. Young master just said that I was your younger sister. Lan Yuer then said with a jealous face, as the young master still afraid that she will misunderstand something. Hearing this, Ling Shui smiled again, aren't you my sister? Of course not, Lan Yuea objected, ever since I was little, I never thought about becoming a brother and sister with you. As the young master interested in her, Lan Yuer asked next. Ling Shui did not answer this question directly. He just replied lightly, she is very useful. You don't even want to answer my questions directly. That's true. Lan Yuer pursed her lips and snorted softly. I blame myself for not being with Ling these past few years. Made him fall in love with another woman. Originally, I had no intention of handing over my childhood sweetheart to another woman since I was a child. I had planned to marry him when I grew up since I was a child. As a result, I'm afraid there is no chance now. After all, that young Luoxi was born so beautiful and delicate. Of course it is normal for Ling Shui to be attracted to her. What, are you jealous? Ling Shui raised her hand and flicked Lan Yuea's smooth forehead. Lan Yuea snorted and pouted. The two of them were just like they were when they were children. After a faint smile, Ling Shui said nothing more, just looking at the dragon controlling divine comedy in Lan Po's hand. Sensing Ling Shui's gaze, Lan Yuea also returned to the topic, this. I'll give it to you, young master. As she spoke, she handed over the scroll. Although this was left by her mother, she is not suitable to be the one who controls the dragon clan. She felt that she didn't have the ability. For that kind of thing, it's better to let Ling come. Ling Shui is certainly not polite either. This dragon controlling divine code was what he wanted. Immediately afterwards, Ling Shui took the scroll. She is very useful, what about me? Am I useless? Lan Yuea continued. The implication of her words is naturally AICE, that if it weren't for her persistence over the years, the divine dragon control code would have been gone long ago. Where else could it fall into Ling Shui's hands? Ling Shui smiled softly and rubbed Lan Yuea's little head, thank you for your hard work these years. She has been under house arrest in 36 immortal palaces for these years. She is lonely and it is indeed hard. I have indeed endured a lot of grievances. Hearing Ling Shui's words, Lan Chuan's eye circles turned slightly red uncontrollably. She has really worked hard these years. It was a psychological hardship. Being imprisoned in the 36th Immortal Palace, no one can express his true feelings to anyone. One pass lasts for many years. Only she knows how aggrieved she is. My father is dead and my mother is dead too. I don't have any relatives in this world. Lan Yuea's beautiful moist eyes looked at the broken sword tomb below filled with poisonous mist. It was here that her father died. And her mother died in the 36th Immortal Palace. After her mother passed away, she even wanted to have a good time and die. But thinking of Ling Shui and her mother's instructions before she died, she persisted. If you persist, it will last for so many years. Am I not your relative? Ling Shui smiled softly and gently held Lan Yuea in her arms. Feeling Ling Shui's embrace, Lan Bo closed his eyes. I don't know how long it took, but she suddenly raised her head and stared at Ling Shui seriously, young master. Um, Ling Shui looked at her. The next moment, she stood on tiptoes, mustered up her courage, and boldly kissed Ling Shui. She felt that now that she had grown up, if she didn't take the initiative, Ling Shui might really be snatched away. I will be completely snatched away by that young Luoxi. So, she decided to be bold. The long dark blue hair and the girl's dark blue dress were slowly fluttering in the colorful poisonous mist. Lan Yuea's bold kiss lasted for a long time. After a long time, she reluctantly let go. At this time, her entire face was extremely hot. Her red face formed a sharp contrast with the blue color of her body. The next moment, she quickly let go of Ling Shui and turned around with a shy face. And loudly said, I, I don't want to be your sister. 
We are not relatives. She wanted Ling Shui to know that she never intended to let Ling Er be her brother. She wants Ling Shui to understand that the relationship between them will never be that of family. Of course, Ling Shui already understood this. I've understood it since I was a child. You're quite brave. Ling Shui just said lightly. As soon as these words came out, Lan Pearl's heart suddenly sank. Could he be angry? Could it be that he doesn't like what he's doing? If this is really the case, then I am indeed too offended. If you make Ling Shui unhappy, you may ignore her in the future. However, just when she was worried about whether Ling Shui would really be angry, her whole delicate body was already picked up. Ling Shui came from behind and held her in a princess hug. Young master, this embrace made Lan Yue's face even redder. When I get back, I want to see if you have grown up. Ling Shui's lips curved into a smirk. As soon as these words came out, Lan Yue breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, he wasn't disgusted. Immediately, Lan Yue also snorted and pouted. I want to see if you have grown up. Immediately, a burst of space ripples appeared all over Ling Shui. He took Lan Yue and returned directly to Kenyan Tianshan. Then, he went directly to Ling Shui's bedroom. Then Ling Shui knew that the blue amber had grown. And Lan Yue also knows that Ling Shui has grown up, very big. On the other side, the Yumo Empire. Yu 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 did not participate in this siege of the 36 immortal palaces. Because there is no need for her at all. She is only in the Divine Yuan realm, not much more, not much less. So, she spent the past few days sorting out the empire Ling Shui gave her. Although it only lasted a few days, I have to say that Yun Yu Yu is indeed capable. Although she's a bit immodest, she has some experience in building an empire. In just a few days, she had already regained her power. A new dynasty is established. It even reassured the people of the empire. As ordinary people, what we fear most is of course war. Fortunately, the war between the demon sect and the Taishuan Empire only affected the entire imperial capital. The people in other places were safe and sound. Now that the war is over, everyone is of course relieved. From now on, I can finally live a normal life. In fact, if the empire is backed by a demon sect, peace will last longer. Because absolutely no one would dare to offend the Yumo Empire easily. To offend the empire is to offend the demon sect. Everyone in the world knows the consequences of offending the demon sect. The Ghost Empire. The location of the new imperial capital was also chosen by Yun Yu Yu. At this time, in the new palace hall, Yu 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 is sitting on the dragon chair, wearing a dragon robe, looking graceful and luxurious. One coat equals another, even though she is a bit cheerful on weekdays. But when she just sat like this without saying anything, she still looked very empress-like. Noble and beautiful, her appearance and temperament are definitely among the best. Your Majesty, Lord Demon Lord and his companions have conquered the 36 immortal palaces and returned in triumph. At this time, someone came to report. Well, I cough. I understand, of course they have no problem. Yu 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 nodded and continued. Leave it to them for the demon sect. From now on, everyone and I have only one task. Take good care of this demon empire and take care of it from now on. Calendar. Yes, all civil and military officials in the court nodded solemnly. Well, nowadays, the empire is peaceful, the people live and work in peace and contentment, and the civil and military forces of North Korea and China are united. Yu Yu Yu's voice then sounded, it's time to open up territory for the empire. Now that an empire has been established, it must of course continue to grow. Um, your majesty, now in the Yuanyang continent, except for the Xuanmai Tianzong, everyone else has bowed to the demon sect. In this expansion of territory, we seem to have no direction. At this time, a civil servant came forward and said with cupped hands. This Yumo Empire belongs to the demon sect, and besides the Yumo Empire, it also belongs to the demon sect. To expand territory, where to drive, all directions are your own territory. This, Yu 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 frowned slightly, that's indeed the problem. This empire doesn't need to expand its territory at all. How to fix it? As an emperor, you can't be idle all day, right? Then, in that case, we only need to manage the internal affairs of the empire. Yu 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 thought for a moment and then said, 
from now on, establish a college within the empire. Let the people of the empire, the entire empire, continue to grow within themselves. This is also a good idea. As long as the empire is functioning internally, it can continue to grow without the need to open up new territories. In short, no matter what, the empire must become active. Building a college is a good choice. Firstly, it can continue to grow, and secondly, it can continuously provide fresh blood to the demon sect. This can be considered as having an effect on the demon sect. Yes, I will give the order right now to recruit capable people and strangers, recruit students from all over the world, and establish. All civil and military officials in the court nodded. Immediately afterwards, everyone began to act according to UUU's imperial edict. Establish academies throughout the Yumo Empire. But when the entire empire became busy, UUU found that she was still too busy. It seems like there's nothing wrong with me at all. As long as you give instructions, the people under your command will do it. And it's extremely efficient. You won't even encounter any difficulties or troubles. Are all the people from the demon sect so powerful? Can they complete whatever is asked of them? In the bedroom, Yu 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 sat in front of the desk, holding his head with one hand. These civil and military officials of the Manchu dynasty are really good. Why don't you give me some memorials or something? Isn't there any problem, no one's opinion or difficulty in the entire empire? As an emperor, it seems that he can do nothing but enjoy himself. I am extremely bored and want to do something early. But what else is going on? What else can excite you? It's so boring, I really want to sleep. At this moment, Yu 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 subconsciously muttered something. As soon as these words came out, her pretty face suddenly changed, huh? What am I talking about? The palace ladies next to me also had their eyes widened with shock at this time. Your Majesty, to be honest, we often have such thoughts. But we have to have some moral integrity, right? How can you say it directly? Yu 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 then stood up and she didn't know why she blurted out suddenly. Probably because of the current situation, the only thing she could think of to make her happy was to go find Ling Shui. Having said that, this is not impossible. Before he was resurrected, Ling Shui said he wanted his own. But after his resurrection, he hasn't touched himself yet. Okay, then go find him and have fun. Yu 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 immediately planned to leave for Kenyan Tianshan to find Ling Shui. However, at this moment, just when Yu 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 was about to leave, suddenly, a vast pressure suddenly filled the entire world. This terrifying pressure even caused the entire palace and the entire earth to tremble slightly. What's wrong? Yu Yu Yu's pretty face suddenly changed and she quickly flew out. At this moment, many people poured out of the entire imperial capital and palace. Then, everyone's eyes were looking towards the sky. I saw that a hole had exploded in the sky. Around that huge opening, there was a different layer of bright ice crystals solidified. Under the terrifying cold air, flowers suddenly appeared in the originally scorching sky. Who, above the palace, Yu Yu Yu, who had just flown out, frowned tightly. This kind of terrifying momentum and coercion comes from a bad person. Under the gaze of Yu Yu Yu, under the gaze of everyone in the entire imperial capital, from the ice crystal hole above the sky, accompanied by a bone-chilling voice, a peerless silhouette slowly stepped out. Where is Ling Shui? This cold voice was like the goddess of the nine heavens. With that endless pressure, it made the world tremble. Yu 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 and others below were even a little breathless under this terrifying pressure. Under everyone's gaze, a pair of smooth jade legs stepped out first among the twisted ice crystals. Then, an ice-blue ice crystal dress wrapped her tall and figure. A cold face that turned all sentient beings upside down caught everyone's eyes. On top of her head, she also wore an ice crystal crown. The whole person is like a noble and beautiful ice queen. The smooth jade feet stepped on the void and walked out step by step. With every step, a burst of ice crystals will condense under your feet. No one has ever seen this woman, and no one knows who she is or where she comes from. Who is your excellency? Yu 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 was the first to question. There was such a big pomp when they first arrived. Could it be that they were here to cause trouble? The strength of this ice and snow woman must be at least the fifth realm of martial arts and above. Yu 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 has met strong men of this level before. I didn't expect that there would be such a strong person in this era. And, it seems to come with hostility. 
Where is Ling Shui? Above the sky, the ice and snow woman looked down at Yu 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 below and said coldly, let him get out. Our demon lord is not something everyone can meet just because they want to. Li Yu said quietly. Do you recognize her? The ice woman said coldly. Of course I recognize it. Yu 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 nodded. But you have to tell me first, what are you looking for him for? Let her get out and die. The ice woman said coldly. As he spoke, the terrifying cold air around his body was released again, making everyone in the entire imperial capital look solemn. Some even weak people fell down on the spot. Yu 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 also forced her aura to circulate, and she could barely withstand this terrifying pressure. So, dot you have a grudge against him? Yu 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 then asked in a deep voice. He killed people he shouldn't have killed. The ice and snow woman said coldly. My stupid brother, although his life and death are no different from an ant in my eyes, he is my half-brother after all. Mother is very angry now. Younger brother, Yu 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 frowned. Who is your brother? The ice blue woman's icy blue eyes looked down at Yu 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 below, and then said coldly, Yi Feng. As soon as these words came out, the expressions of Yu 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 and others changed drastically. Yi Feng, the prince of Taishuan Empire who was wiped out by Ling Shui. He also has a sister. Half-sister. Speaking of which, Taishuan Empire seems to have never had a queen. No one knows who Yi Feng's mother is. This sister of his, is really incredible. She actually has such terrifying strength. And it seems that their relationship is not very good. His sister didn't even care about his life or death. It was just that his mother was angry, so she asked his sister to take revenge. Don't waste my time, let Ling Shui get out. Yi Feng's sister then said coldly. She didn't want to come, but was forced by her mother to make a trip. Come kill Ling Shui and take revenge. She just wanted to kill someone and then leave, and she didn't want to waste any time. Well, dot our lord demon is out, how about, dot you come back another day? Yu 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 said with a dry laugh. No, the opponent is too strong, so Ling Shui must be prepared first. Otherwise, it might really fall on this woman. Absurd. Above, Yi Feng's sister suddenly roared. She is too lazy to run. How many days will she come back? Is it possible? Immediately she snorted coldly, and the terrifying cold air in her body poured out crazily at this moment. Dot dot dot. Suddenly, everything from the sky turned into ice crazily and solidified crazily at this moment. Seeing this situation, Yu 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 immediately jumped into the air. But the people below are not so lucky. The terrifying cold air fell from the sky, and immediately the entire imperial capital was completely frozen. The entire imperial capital, as well as everything within reach of the naked eye, were all turned into ice sculptures in the blink of an eye. Everything was frozen. The thick translucent ice solidified directly and became hundreds of feet thick. The terrifying cold air is rising. The temperature between heaven and earth suddenly dropped. Only Yu 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 barely escaped. This is of course because Yi Feng's sister deliberately kept hers. No matter what method you use, let Ling Shui come to see me within half an hour. Yi Feng's sister then said coldly, if not, I will kill everyone here. At present, everyone in the entire imperial capital is just frozen, but of course they are not dead. But if she is willing, she can wipe out everyone here in an instant. She can totally do it. In midair, Yu 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 stared at the entire frozen imperial capital below with wide eyes. But he couldn't say a word. Because this woman's strength is really very strong, she has no chance at all. She immediately gritted her teeth and quickly called Ling Shui. I don't know where this woman came from, but she is absolutely unable to deal with it. Of course she can only let Ling Shui figure it out. At this time, Kang Yin Tianshan, the main altar of the demon sect, Ling Shui has entered the Shira Purgatory Tower. He wants to try to see if he can reach a higher level. After he entered the Shira Purgatory Tower, he took out the small blood red metal fragment. Enter the first level first and use that sharp fragment to break the barrier on the second level. Sure enough, it was still the same as before, without any hindrance. Immediately afterwards, Ling Shui came to the third level barrier and controlled the metal fragments to explode. With a bang, the fragments came through again without any hindrance. Ling Shui frowned slightly. He had to use the Chenkin Sword technique to open this third level of barrier. Can this fragment be so easy and harmless? 
It seems that this little thing really has that kind of absolute penetrating power. The penetrating power that ignores all defenses. Immediately afterwards, Linger came to the entrance to the fourth level of the barrier. Then, he controlled the metal fragments and shot them away like flying knives. Boom, the next moment, something Ling Shui expected happened. The entrance barrier on the fourth floor was also easily pierced. Like a bubble, vulnerable. The corners of Ling Shui's mouth suddenly curved slightly. This fourth level of barrier cannot be opened by oneself. Only people above the third level of Jiwu can open it, but this small fragment can be opened easily. The origin of this little fragment is definitely not simple. With this little thing, you can unlock some good things in advance that you couldn't unlock otherwise. Ling Shui let out a breath, then jumped into the fourth floor. Let's take a look at what's inside. After Ling Shui entered the fourth level, he came to a new world. Inside, the stars are bright and bright. It makes people feel like they are in the Milky Way, a vast and majestic place. At this time, in the galaxy, there was a huge dragon, swimming in it, like a Wen Xinghe Tianchen. This giant dragon has a light blue color all over its body. Under the skin scales, there is a faint light. Ling Shui could tell that this was a void creature, a void dragon. And of course the void demon dragon was aware of Ling Shui's arrival at this time. Its huge figure swam over, a pair of dragon eyes emitting light from the void, staring at Ling Shui, who was as small as an ant in front of him. Extreme martial arts level, its rough voice sounded next. It seems to be very confused. How did it get here with Ling Shui's strength at the first level of martial arts? If Ling Shui has the strength to come here, does that mean that Ling Shui has the strength to be able to compete with it? Can you get the ancient pagoda mark from its hand? Void power. Ling Shui smiled faintly, and then said, I think, you will be locked up here for a long time. You, daughter the owner of this ancient tower now. The rough voice of the void demonic dragon sounded again. Ling Shui nodded lightly. Ha ha, the void demonic dragon seemed to be smiling but not smiling, staring at Ling Shui like this. It seems to be surprised that the owner of the Shira Purgatory Tower is only a first level martial artist. And this extreme martial artist can still reach the fourth level. Who was it that locked you here back then? Ling Shui then asked. Who is he? Of course he is from your human race. The void demonic dragon said in a deep voice. Hearing its tone, Ling Shui could conclude that it was not the girl in white with pupil hair who was imprisoning her. So, the people who imprison these void creatures and foreign demons in this Shira Purgatory Tower are different. I can give you freedom. Ling Shui then said. Freedom, ha 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 ha. The void demonic dragon suddenly sneered. The huge body circled around Ling Shui. His huge eyes stared at Ling Shui again. What you call freedom, do you mean making me your slave? Let me go from this cage to another. At least the other cage is wider. Ling Shui said with a faint smile. Ha 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 ha, broad. The void demonic dragon laughed wildly. When you are bound by shackles, no matter how wide the world is, what's the use? I can promise that as long as you serve me, I will not restrict your freedom. Ling Shui's blood red eyes looked at the void dragon in front of him. Ha ha, work for you. Be your slave. The void demonic dragon smiled coldly. Do you think that you have that qualification? Wow, as soon as it finished speaking, its huge dragon claws suddenly grabbed Ling Shui. Call out. And at that moment, the blood red metal fragments floating next to Ling Shui suddenly shot out and then, directly penetrated its huge dragon claw. The thick scales, carrying the powerful void power, were penetrated directly in front of this small fragment like air. With a burst of void blood flowing out, the void dragon stopped attacking. Oh, no wonder you can enter here. It looked at its pierced claws in surprise. It also didn't expect that its own strong defense would be completely ignored. You still have a chance to choose now. Ling Shui's voice sounded next. If this dragon is willing to surrender to him, then he will naturally not treat him badly. But if this dragon wants to resist to the end, then, of course it will have no future. The huge eyes of the void demonic dragon were staring at Ling Shui. Not a word was said. Although Ling Shui only has the strength of the extreme martial realm, but, the method does not seem simple. If you really work hard, I'm afraid you won't get any benefits. Besides, even if you can kill Ling Shui, what's the use? It can't leave here either. Immediately, 
Its huge body turned around and wandered towards the galaxy ahead. I don't have to leave here, and you don't want me to be your slave. Of course it would rather remain locked up here than be a slave. Anyway, even if it goes outside, it has no relatives or friends. Looking at the void demon dragon flying away, Ling Shui didn't say much. If we take action forcefully, it will be of no benefit to anyone at the moment. So, forget it. Go back and clean it up slowly. Immediately, Ling Shui exploded upward with the sharp fragments. Among the stars in the sky, the void demonic dragon's eyes narrowed slightly. Does he still want to go to higher places? Can he still get to a higher level? Out of its curiosity, Ling Shui quickly arrived at the entrance to the fifth floor. Then, blood-red fragments exploded away. As expected, the entrance barrier on the fifth floor was also easily broken by him. Immediately, the void demonic dragon's eyes changed slightly. Who is this man? What is the origin of the fragment in his hand? After Ling Shui opened the entrance to the fifth floor, he rushed away. Then, we came to a new world. It's dark inside here every day. In the darkness, there were densely packed black chains, large and small. Nothing else. From the entrance to the end of the line of sight, there are chains. It was as if the entire boundless space was made of chains. Ling Shui looked towards the depths, and after he saw the being imprisoned on the fifth floor. It was a black shadow that was close to human shape. Black energy boiled all over his body. There was no face, only a pair of eyes that glowed with void light under the black air. Moreover, on his body filled with black energy, chains penetrated his body, limbs and bones. When he saw this black shadow in the void, Ling Shui narrowed his eyes slightly. On the fourth and third floors below, the void demon dragon and Chinger were just locked inside. But the black shadow in the void on this level is not only locked up here, but there are even countless chains running through it to suppress him here. This black shadow in the void is probably not simple. At this time, the black shadow in the void also looked at Ling Shui with a pair of eyes that exuded a faint light. He didn't speak, just watched quietly. Don't speak, don't move. He was not as surprised as the void demon dragon below as to why Ling Shui came here. Ling Shui's blood red eyes looked at the black shadow locked in the air. His intuition told him that although this dark figure was locked on the fifth floor, those imprisoned above might not be as special as him. Immediately afterwards, Ling Shui ignored him. This black shadow is definitely not the kind of existence that he can convince. Therefore, there is no need to even speak. Ling Shui immediately withdrew his gaze, and then headed straight towards the explosion on the sixth floor. And the black shadow in the void didn't pay attention to him. The sixth floor. Ling Shui's fragments also broke through the entrance barrier of the sixth floor easily. Then, he came to another unique space. In this space, everything that strikes the eye is pink. Pink silk thread, pink spider silk. It feels like you have arrived at a pink pansy cave. What Ling Shui stepped on was a spider's thread. Pink spider silk, thin and flexible. Ling Shui's eyes narrowed slightly, so, on this level, it should be a demon, not a void creature. What a handsome brother. At this moment, a girl's voice sounded. Then, under Ling Shui's gaze, a pink spider crawled out of the spider silk hole in front. It's not a shape that shows teeth and claws, but a shape that even looks a little cute. But there was a layer of pink mucus flowing all over his body. It's like pink syrup. After the pink spider crawled out, the mucus and limbs all over its body squirmed. Then, under Ling Shui's gaze, she transformed into a young girl. It has a pair of pink eyes and a pair of horns on its head. There was no clothing on the whole body, only the thick pink mucus, half covering it. The girl opened her mouth and licked her lips. The pink tongue protruding from the two rows of fangs is also covered with pink mucus. Tick tick, she looked like she crawled out of pink syrup. The pink viscous liquid was dripping all over the body. There is an indescribable madness in that look. But under this madness, that silky pink body has an indescribable charm. Monster. A pink little monster that is moist, sticky, and full of mysterious charm. Take me out, take me out, take me out, take me out. After the pink girl transformed into a human form, she rushed towards Ling Shui. Like a clingy little goblin, he circled around Ling Shui. He kept repeating one sentence in his mouth. Take me out, let me do anything, anything. From now on, 
you will be my master, master, take me out, take me out. Her little face was full of excitement and excitement. Ling Shui just frowned at the enthusiasm of this slimy little girl. Of course he couldn't be released easily. Because in terms of strength, this girl has the strength of the fifth realm of extreme martial arts. It won't work if you can't control it if you let it out. Master, master, please, take me out, I want to go out now, I want to go out now. The girl continued to chant. It looks like a warm little post. The owner of this cry was not polite at all. I'm very useful, I'm very powerful, I can do anything, master, please, let me out. I understand, you want me to do that, right? It's what I thought, you must be a bad master. While she was muttering, she actually got started. That slippery little hand really stretched out. Let. Ling Shui had no such intention. But when she got started, she naturally had a plan. Because no man can refuse a lubricated woman. I can do it all over my body, anywhere. The spider girl opened her mouth as she spoke, but those two rows of cute fangs did not cause any discomfort to Ling Shui. Ling Shui is a person who likes to take the initiative. But this time, in the hands of this sticky crazy girl, he was unable to take the initiative. Mainly because she wanted to see what other tricks this girl had. She is indeed, more satisfying than Ching Er and Yu Yao Yao. Master, don't patronize yourself, others need it too. Give me, under Ling Shui's passivity, I don't know how long it took before the little girl was fully fed. After some asking and satisfaction, she was willing to return to her normal appearance. All the sticky pink venom on his body disappeared. Only clean, fair and tender skin is left. And she also wore a pink and white dress. Hey, master, why are you so lovable? At this time, her whole body was hanging around Ling Shui's neck. The little head rubbed hard against Ling Shui's neck. Ling Shui was a little irresistible to this little girl who put her whole body in random poses. Crazy, passionate, and cute, it can be all rolled into one. Who can refuse such a little girl? Master, can you go out now? She then raised her head, her pink eyes seemed to have turned into heart shapes. This made Ling Shui wonder for a while, could this girl be a little succubus? In this serious world, there should be no such unfair existence. But this little girl's personality is indeed too abnormal. What's your name? Ling Shui then asked. Although she was forced to do that kind of thing as soon as they met, her identity and name are still unknown. Ji Xiaoyao, the girl glared at Ling Shui and replied, Master, let's go out soon, okay. I don't want to stay here anymore. As she spoke, her slender arms wrapped around Ling Shui's neck and started acting coquettishly. Just like a little kid. But it's actually a little monster. A little monster who has lived for who knows how many years. Did something appear when you were locked up here? Ling Shui asked, looking at the clingy little goblin in his arms. Of course he was talking about that mark. Oh, right. Ji Xiaoyao finally reacted and raised her little hand. A black ancient pagoda mark floated out from her body. Backquote, now, give it to you. If it were anyone else, I wouldn't give it to you. Ji Xiaoyao handed over the mark directly. She is a demon, a demon who only acts according to her own heart. As soon as Ling Shui entered here, she didn't dislike Ling Shui, so she was willing to have that kind of thing happen with Ling Shui. After what happened, of course she was willing to take the initiative to hand over the mark that could completely control her to Ling Shui. Anyway, she calls Ling Shui the master. Ling Shui looked at the black ancient pagoda mark she handed over. Then he just smiled and melted the black ancient pagoda mark into his palm. Then, it established a contract with Ji Xiaoyao, a master-servant contract. He didn't directly erase the mark like he did with Chinger. After all, this girl may seem crazy, but she is still capable of the fifth level of extreme martial arts no matter what. You still have to control it for a while. Before you go out. Ling Shui held the little beauty in her arms and could easily hug her with one hand. Then he looked up at the height of the pink silk hole. I'll take you up there and have a look. Now that I'm here today. Qian Zhaohao, let's give it a try and see which level those little fragments can help him reach. But at this moment, when Ling Shui was planning to take Ji Xiaoyao up. But a message came suddenly. There is a woman who claims to be Yi Feng's sister, and she says she wants to seek revenge on you. Please think of a way. 
The one who conveyed the message was, of course, Yu Yu Yu. Hearing this message, Ling Shui stopped immediately. Then his brows furrowed little by little. Yi Fang's sister. Yi Feng still has a sister, Long. There is no such thing in the original work. In the original work, Yi Feng has only one non-biological sister, Yi Tan, and no other relatives. How come a sister suddenly appears? Where? Ling Shui asked immediately. Unexpectedly, the protagonist is dead, and a sister appears. I want to see what his sister is like. In the capital of the Yumo Empire, she has frozen this place, saying that if she doesn't see you for half an hour, she will kill everyone. Yu Yu Yu's voice came next. She is very strong, she is in the extreme martial arts realm, and she should be in the fifth realm. Come back when you are ready. Five realms. Ling Shui was a little surprised when he heard Yu Yu Yu's words. Even if Yi Feng is still alive, he is still in the earth spirit realm. His sister is actually in the realm of extreme martial arts. And it's still the fifth realm of extreme martial arts. So powerful, where did his sister come from? Then, Ling Shui looked at Chao Ji Xiaoyao. You are also in the fifth realm. Yes, how come you even know this? Do you know me so well? Ji Xiaoyao smiled, and while speaking, she stretched out her pink tongue and lightly licked Ling Shui's face. It really loves its owner like a clingy puppy. Ling Shui smiled faintly, is this a coincidence? I happen to have a person at the fifth level of extreme martial arts here who can deal with Yi Fang's sister. Let's go, then get out first, Ling Shui then said. Let's go and see first what kind of person Yi Fang's sister is. Yeah, Ji Xiaoyao nodded obediently, still not coming down. At this time, Ling Shui lowered his head and glanced at her. Ever since it ended just now, it has been hanging around my neck. Aren't you tired? No, I want to stick to the master all the time, I like the smell of the master. Ji Xiaoyao pouted. Master just made me smell like master all over my body. I can no longer live without master. Hearing this, Ling Shui shook his head helplessly. Isn't it your own idea to make it all over your body? Immediately afterwards, Ling Shui took Ji Xiaoyao out of the Shira Purgatory Tower. The two of them walked out of the bedroom together. At this time, Xiao Xiao and Ganzu were squatting on the stone stairs outside chatting. The two of them were chatting and got into the same topic. Why doesn't Ling Shui touch them? Is it because there are too many women around so he can't notice them both? Or is it really because they are still young? In the end, the two could only blame their age for their conclusion. Also, compared to spending time with beauties like Ching'er and Yu Yao Yao, Ling Shui would certainly not choose these two little broths. At this moment, Ling Shui walked out with Ji Xiaoyao. Xiao Xiao and Chen Shui stood up, and then their faces changed. Who is this? Why is she in Ling Shui's room? Xiao Xiao immediately frowned tightly. This little girl with pink eyes seems to be smaller than herself. At least her body size is smaller than mine. Oh my god, the young master even wants this, why don't you touch yourself? For a short moment, I felt like crying without tears. It turns out that the young master is not because he is still young, but because, because he really doesn't like himself. Because he is really not interested in me. Isn't it? This is, too sad, right? Gan Shui had the same idea at this time. It seems that those who are maids, really can only be maids forever. Stay at the demon gate. After Ling Shui brought Ji Xiaoyao out, he just said something to Xiao Xiao and Qian Shui. Then he took Ji Xiaoyao and left. The two girls were left in a messy place. Afterwards, Ling Shui called Ching'er and Yan Kui, tore apart the space and rushed directly to the capital of Yumo Empire. Since the other party is in the realm of extreme martial arts, then of course it is enough to bring someone with the realm of extreme martial arts. At this time, in the imperial capital of Yumo Empire, it was covered with ice and snow. Everyone, along with the entire imperial capital, was completely frozen. At a glance, everything is covered with ice, making people feel like they are in the polar regions. In midair, an ice crystal throne formed behind Yi Feng's sister. She just sat on the throne, looking down at the imperial capital below, waiting quietly. After half an hour, if Ling Shui doesn't come, she will kill everyone, including Yun Yu Yu. Then go find Ling Shui in person. At this time, Yu 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 stood alone not far away from the opposite side. Looking at the woman sitting on the ice throne, she didn't know what to do for a moment. 
Ling Shui, is there any way to deal with this woman? This woman has the strength of the fifth realm of extreme martial arts. It seems that the demon sect does not have the existence of the five extreme martial realms, right? Dare I ask, where are you from? Yu 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 then took the initiative to talk, deliberately delaying time. She has been resurrected for some time and has a general understanding of the current situation in this era. Ever since Ling Shui's father died when the world's forces encircled and suppressed him, in this era, there are only a handful of people in the realm of extreme martial arts. But now, a super powerful existence from the fifth realm suddenly appears. Where did this woman come from? Could it be that there are still some hidden great forces in this world? On the ice crystal throne, Yi Fang's sister glanced at Yu 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 lightly and did not reply. Um, what's your name? My name is Yu Yu Yu. Yu 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 continued to talk. Yi Fang's sister still didn't speak. Her name is Zhang Qinglu. But in her opinion, a mortal like Yu 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 is not qualified to know her name. You'd better hurry up and let him come over. If he doesn't come, you will be the first to die. Zhang Qingni just replied coldly. As soon as these words came out, Yu 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 frowned slightly. However, she still wanted to calm down the atmosphere and delay time. Actually, your brother, you said you don't care, so why do you have to take revenge? Even though he has the same mother and father as me, he is still my brother. No matter how rubbish he is, others are not qualified to take his life. Zhang Qingni said coldly, she came to take revenge, AIFB, not for Yi Feng. But for her family's reputation. At the same time, this is also her mother's order and she has to obey. The Ling you are looking for, he is very powerful. In fact, you can try to negotiate a relationship. Yu 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 continued, why do we really have to fight to the death? The fish is dead and the net is broken. Zhang Qingni smiled disdainfully. You're just an ant, how can you fight me to the death? Yu 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 was speechless. This woman seems quite confident. Yes, she might, really have that strength. Aunt, this is the first time I heard someone say such a thing. At this moment, a sneer suddenly sounded. Next to Yu Yu Yu, a blood-red space tear suddenly formed. Then, Ling Shui and the others walked out of it. Ling Shui only had three people with him. Ji Xiaoyao, Qing'er, Yan Kui. Others, none. Seeing Ling Shui's arrival, Yu 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 breathed a sigh of relief. Now that he is here, he and the entire imperial capital should be safe, right? By the way, dot why is there another person beside him? Where did this little pink girl come from? She, doesn't seem to be a human race. As soon as Ling Shui came, his blood-red eyes looked at Zhang Qingni opposite. It is really an existence in the realm of extreme martial arts. Yi Feng really has a sister. And, she's also quite pretty. Opposite me, Zhang Runbin also looked at Ling Er. Are you Ling Shui? Then, Zhang Qingni's cold voice slowly sounded, you are born with a good skin. It has to be said that although she has a noble status, she has many suitors around her, and they are all famous and powerful beings. But compared with the Ling Shui in front of him, his appearance and temperament were far different. You're not bad either. Ling Shui smiled faintly and continued, it's just a pity. With such an idiot brother, you, the sister. I'm afraid you will also be an idiot, right? If you weren't an idiot, how could you have said what you just said? Presumptuous. On the opposite side, Zhang Qingni suddenly shouted angrily and stood up from the ice crystal throne. Following her low roar, a terrifying cold air swept directly towards her face. Wow, but at this moment, Ji Xiaoyao, who was beside Ling Shui, took a step forward, and a vast amount of demonic power filled the air. Block out all the cold air. You want to hurt my master. Ji Xiaoyao's pink eyes became cold at this moment. The next moment, she actually planned to take action. But Ling Shui grabbed her hand. Let's talk about it first. He was very curious about where this woman came from. Why doesn't it appear in the original work? Kneel down. At this time, Zhang Qingni on the opposite side spoke again, kneel down. If you admit your mistake and bow your head, I can plead with my mother for the sake of your beauty and keep you as a slave by my side. Hearing this, Ling Shui narrowed his eyes slightly. Mother, speaking of which, Yi Feng's mother was not mentioned in the original work. All I know is that Yi Feng's father is Yi Ding Tian, the emperor of the Taishuan Empire. But no one knows who the queen of the Taishuan Empire is, and who Yi Feng's mother is has never been mentioned. 
You and Yi Fang shouldn't have the same father. Ling Shui then guessed. Of course I'm not of such low blood. Zhang Qingni said coldly. So you are, half father. Ling Shui smiled. Then your mother is quite playful. As soon as these words came out, Zhang Qingni's eyes suddenly narrowed. You are looking for death. As soon as she said that, the terrifying cold air in her body burst out. Countless ice cones condensed in midair and flooded directly towards Ling Shui. Here, Ji Xiaoyao frowned, pursed her lips and said coldly, you are just looking for death. After saying this, a burst of pink demonic energy burst out from her body, and then, tiny pink spider threads shot out. Block all the ice picks from Zhang Qingni on the opposite side. Then, she shook her little hand. Boom, the icicles that filled the sky were all crushed by her spider silk. Demon, opposite her, Zhang Qingni frowned slightly and looked at Ji Xiaoyao with her ice blue eyes. Of course she can see that Ji Xiaoyao is a monster. Moreover, Ji Xiaoyao's strength is not weak, she is probably at the fifth level of extreme martial arts. I didn't expect that there would be such a person next to Ling Shui. How about this, I ask and you answer. Ling Shui's cold voice then sounded. If your answer satisfies me, maybe, you can go back and forth safely. Judging from Zhang Qingni's tone, she didn't care about Yi Feng. He even looked down on Yi Feng's inferior bloodline. So, the reason why she came to take revenge was probably not for Yi Feng, but for her mother. For a reputation. If this is the case, then there is indeed room for conversation. After all, Ling Shui is really curious now where these people who have never appeared in the original work come from. Where are you from? Who is your mother? Ling Shui then asked. On the opposite side, Zhang Qingni looked at Ling Shui coldly, and just replied coldly, you have no right to know. Hearing this, Ling Shui frowned slightly. There was a somewhat impatient expression on his face. Yi Feng's sister was so arrogant that she really felt a little unhappy. Who in the whole world would dare to speak to him in such a tone except Yun Luoxi? And even Yun Luoxi's words have never been so unpleasant. It seems that this woman has some problems to deal with. Not qualified. Very good. Ling Shui's tone also became colder and colder. I like to make people who don't want to speak obediently speak. After saying that, Ling Shui glanced at Ji Xiaoyao. Ji Xiaoyao nodded, then opened her two little hands and bent her fingers, suffer death. The next moment, she shot towards Zhang Qingni opposite. Ten fingers, carrying the extremely sharp and tough silk thread, cut up. Dragnet, following Ji Xiaoyao's low roar, dense pink silk threads immediately wrapped around her. Lock Zhang Qingni's entire body inside, and then continue to shrink. Don't overestimate your capabilities. Zhang Qingni snorted coldly. I'll show you today, even if we are in the fifth realm, the gap can be as big as a chasm. Boom. After saying this, a burst of ice blue cold air burst out from her body. The terrifying cold air directly sealed all Ji Xiaoyao's spider silk with water. The cold air eroded in, and the next moment, all Ji Xiaoyao's spider silk became as fragile as ice crystals. Zhang Qingni just waved her hand, and everything collapsed, turning into countless specks of ice crystal light and dissipating. It's pretty awesome, come again. Ji Xiaoyao missed one move and continued to attack. Beside Ling Shui, Dan Kui and Ching Er also shot up at the same time. Although they are much weaker than Zhang Qingni and Ji Xiaoyao, they are here, so of course they have to take action. The vast black demonic energy suddenly transformed into a black fox with a size of more than several hundred feet, and rushed towards Zhang Qingni. And within Yan Kui's body, vast flames also burst out, and the red pillar of fire pointed directly at Zhang Qingni. Zhang Qingni snorted coldly, and ice blue cold air burst into the sky. Block the attacks of Ching Er and Yan Kui. The three of them then continued to attack. Although Zhang Qingni is indeed in the fifth realm of extreme martial arts, there is indeed a certain gap between the same realms. She is indeed slightly stronger than Ji Xiaoyao. She alone can deal with the siege of Ji Xiaoyao and three others. Of course, she is only a little better than Ji Xiaoyao. It is not easy to defeat Ji Xiaoyao, unless both of them risk their lives. But of course they won't risk their lives, and that's not what Ling Shui wants to see. He wants this Zhang Qingni to live for the time being. He still has many things to ask her. And the way to make a self-righteous woman like Zhang Qingni speak. Ling Shui had thought of something just before she came. 
Immediately, Ling Shui raised his palm, and the sharp blood-red metal fragment was suspended in his palm. Then, he shot towards Zhang Qingni opposite. With Zhang Qingni's strength, she could certainly detect Ling Shui's sneak attack. She just hummed softly. The earthworm shakes the tree. Then, she just waved her hand. An ice shield blocked his side. She believed that Ling Shui could completely block Ling Shui's attack with a single wave of her hand. But this time, she was wrong. After Ling Shui's blood red fragments burst out, they directly passed through her ice shield. It was like passing through the air without any hindrance. At that moment, Zhang Qingni suddenly realized something was wrong. She quickly dodged away. Call out. The metal fragments exploded past her, and although they did not cause much damage to her, they left a small blood mark on her fair face. Zhang Qinglu's face turned cold instantly. She slowly raised her hand and touched the blood on her face. Then, in those ice-blue eyes, an unprecedented anger burst out, my face. No woman doesn't care about her face. The more beautiful a woman is, the more she cares. And she is, of course, a beautiful woman. Of course she always takes good care of her face. But now, there was a mark left by Ling Shui on her smooth face. Of course she couldn't bear it. Ling Shui, I wanted to give you a chance, but today, no one can save you. She immediately shouted loudly. Boom, suddenly, a monstrous cold air swept across the world. The terrifying cold air shook Ji Xiaoyao and the three of them backwards. Then, Zhang Qingni's eyes locked on Ling Shui and shot towards Ling Shui. She had indeed planned to give Ling Shui a chance, because she had never seen such a handsome man like Ling Shui before. But now, Ling Shui hurt her face. Of course she gave up all thoughts. Now she just wants to kill Ling Shui, kill Ling Shui with her own hands. Not good. Ji Xiaoyao frowned when she saw this. With Ling Shui's strength at the first level of martial arts, she might not be able to stop this woman. But on the opposite side, the corner of Ling Shui's mouth evoked a faint arc at this moment. F. Buzz. Just when Zhang Qingni was about to touch him, there was a sudden buzz. A huge black ancient tower suddenly rises from the sky. It is the Shira Purgatory Tower. Ling Shui's purpose is, of course, to introduce Zhang Qingni into this ancient pagoda. The sixth floor is now empty. It can just be used to deal with Zhang Qingni who is in the fifth level of extreme martial arts. HMPH, can you hide? Sure enough, the angry Zhang Qingni snorted and flew into the ancient tower without saying a word. Ji Xiaoyao and others were left watching outside. Ha, I understand, the master wants to lead her into the ancient pagoda and control her. Ji Xiaoyao realized later. You were also released from this ancient pagoda. Ching'er looked at Chao Ji Xiaoyao with her beautiful eyes. Yes, you too. Ji Xiaoyao looked at her. Aha, we are still the same kind. Ching'er smiled charmingly. Then I'll call you sister. Hee <laughs> hee. Ji Xiaoyao grinned. Ching'er nodded and did not object. Which floor were you released from? At this time, Yu 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 also flew over and looked at Ji Xiaoyao curiously. Sixth floor. Ji Xiaoyao replied truthfully. Hiss. Sixth floor. Yu 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 suddenly looked confused. How did he get to the sixth floor? He is only at the first level of martial arts now. I don't know either. Ji Xiaoyao scratched her head. She didn't care that much, but if she were more careful, she would understand that Ling Shui entered the sixth level by relying on that small piece of extremely penetrating fragment. This tower is so weird. There seems to be room inside. Yan Kui was also staring at the huge Shira Purgatory Tower at this time, with a look of contemplation on the tower's face. That's right, each floor is an independent space, and each floor contains a big demon or void creature. Yu 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 replied. Yan Kui nodded. Then the background of Ching'er and Ji Xiaoyao makes sense. It was Ling Shui who brought it out from this ancient pagoda. This young master has a lot of treasures on his body. At this time, Ling Shui shot directly towards the ancient tower. And Zhang Qingni, who was following behind, was also chasing after her. The two of them passed directly through the second floor and the third floor. Finally, we arrived at the sixth floor. Here, there is still the piece of spider silk left by Ji Xiaoyao, a pink silk hole. After arriving here, Ling Shui stopped. And Zhang Qingni also followed in. But as soon as she came in, Ling Shui's mind suddenly moved. The power of Shira Purgatory Tower is imposed. Then, 
Zhang Qingni felt something was wrong inside her body. It's like, suddenly being suppressed by something. But this kind of suppression is not substantial and will not make her weaker. This is an extremely strange feeling. The next moment, a burst of spiritual energy overflowed from her body, and then condensed in front of Ling Shui. It condensed into a black ancient pagoda mark. Zhang Qingni frowned slightly. At this moment, she had a strange feeling. It was as if, I was suddenly shackled, and this kind of shackles is something she can't resist no matter what. What she didn't know was that the key to the shackles, was the black ancient pagoda mark. Ling Shui directly raised his hand and integrated the Black Ancient Pagoda Mark into his body. The next moment, he established a connection with Zhang Qingni. An irresistible master-servant connection. Of course Zhang Qingni could also have subtle feelings, but of course she couldn't figure out what was going on. Immediately she snorted coldly, pretend to be a ghost. It costs your life. The next moment, she shot towards Ling Shui again. At this time, Ling Shui stood there, motionless, looking at Zhang Qinglu who was approaching. Then, the corners of his mouth curved slightly in a strange arc. Zhang Qingni felt uneasy when she noticed the strange smile on the corner of Ling Shui's mouth. She, of course I don't know why I feel this way. She just suppressed this feeling and continued to attack Ling Shui. The next moment, Ling Shui faintly uttered two words. Kneel down. These two words seem to carry an indescribable majesty and an irresistible magic power. The next moment, Zhang Qingni, who was about to touch Ling Shui, lost her legs and knelt down uncontrollably. Just like that, after the explosion, he knelt down in front of Ling Shui with a pop. This sudden change made Zhang Qingni's complexion change drastically. A look of horror and disbelief rolled out of those beautiful ice-blue eyes. What to do? What are you, doing? Why did you kneel down? She then raised her head and looked up at Ling Shui in front of her in shock, what did you do? Of course she could only blame Ling Shui for everything. This guy must have done something. How else could she be so out of control? As Zhang Qingni spoke, her whole body was struggling to stand up. But I just can't control myself and can't stand up. With a sneer on her lips, Ling Shui took a step forward and looked down at Zhang Qingni, don't move. I asked you to move. Dot you move again. While speaking, he raised his hands and gently stroked Zhang Qingxi's hair. At this time, Zhang Qingni was kneeling in front of him, between his legs. He just held his head with both hands. Seeing the smile on Ling Shui's face, Zhang Qingni felt panic in her heart. What is he going to do? What else is he going to do? Under Zhang Qingni's uneasy gaze, Ling Shui then faintly uttered a sentence that made Zhang Qingni's pupils suddenly shrink. Come on, open your mouth. Chapter 91 Zhang Qingni had no idea what was going on. My mind was in a mess and I couldn't think of anything. I can only feel the thrust and filling from my throat. Now, she does whatever Ling Shui asks her to do. Even a small movement of the tip of the tongue is all under Ling Shui's control. With the pink pansy hole, Ling Shui severely punished this self-righteous woman. Destroy her arrogance and self-righteousness to nothing. Ants, this is the first time someone dares to call Ling Shui an ant. At this moment, Ling Shui deeply understood what it means to be heaven and earth. Let her understand who is the ant at anyone's mercy. She even asked Ling Shui to kneel down before. But now, she is kneeling in front of Ling Shui, trying her best to please Ling Shui. I don't know how long it took, but Ling Shui was satisfied. At this time, Zhang Qingni was still kneeling on the spot. The expression is almost dull. The whole person seemed to be completely numb. She never thought that her, would be treated in this way by others. This method is absolutely unacceptable to her. Another point is that although Ling Shui was so humiliating to her, he, did not touch her body. Just using her mouth, what is this? You're curious why I don't touch you, right? At this time, Ling Shui looked down at Zhang Qingni and made a sound. Zhang Qingni looked up at Ling Shui, speechless. Of course she had such curiosity, but of course she wouldn't admit it. Once she admits it, it means that she desires Ling Shui to really do that kind of thing to her. Because, you are not qualified. Ling Shui then said lightly. Return all the words she said before to her. Hearing Ling Shui's words, he looked at the proud smile on the corner of Ling Shui's mouth. The shame and anger in Zhang Qingni's heart were overwhelming. 
not qualified. How dare anyone say that she is not qualified? Thinking about her, she was always surrounded by a group of outstanding suitors. Those suitors would be extremely excited if they could get a look from her. And now, Ling Shui obviously could touch her but didn't touch her, but said she was not qualified. What is this? Does this mean that in front of Ling Shui, she only deserves to use her mouth? This is a naked humiliation. Zhang Qingni only felt that her self-esteem, dignity and arrogance were all trampled to the ground by Ling Shui. Friction hard. Trample hard. She just stared at Ling Shui with a look that made her want to tear Ling Shui into pieces before eating him. But there was nothing she could do. There was absolutely nothing she could do. She couldn't control her body at all, or even her thoughts. There was a smile on Ling Shui's lips. He did not suppress Zhang Qingni's consciousness. Just to let her maintain her original consciousness and endure all the humiliation. Just to watch her want to resist but unable to. Just watching her struggle in the mud, but to no avail. She had to pay for what she said. She deserves it. What on earth? Dot did you do to me? Zhang Qingni's ferocious voice sounded next. She was still resisting, still resisting crazily, trying to get her body to move. Those eyes had begun to turn red and tears had flowed out. But no matter what, she just couldn't resist the inexplicable magic. She just couldn't move, just couldn't do anything to Ling Shui. She is like an imprisoned beast now, and she can only be helpless and furious in her heart. Tears flowed down her cheeks, flowing through the blood marks that Ling Shui had scratched with small fragments. At this time, she was kneeling on the spot and crying, looking so embarrassed. It completely lacks the aura of the Snow Queen at the beginning. What did I do to you? Aren't you still fine? Ling Shui smiled faintly. After you go out, no one will know what happened, and when you go back, no one will notice anything. Hearing this, Zhang Qingni's heart suddenly trembled. Go back. If she goes back in such a mess, if she goes back and lets others know that she was treated like this by Ling Shui, then she might as well just die. If you go back safe and sound, others won't see any clues. That way, you can help me do what I want to do. Ling Shui's blood-red eyes looked down at Zhang Qingni with a sneer at the corner of her mouth. Hearing this, Zhang Qingni felt uneasy again. What else do you want to do? At this moment, she realized that Ling Shui was not easy to mess with. Only then did I realize that I was careless and too self-righteous. If she had known this result earlier, of course she would not have killed Ling Shui as soon as she came, and she would have been so aloof from the moment she came. Let me guess. Ling Shui smiled faintly and continued. You should come from a place that does not belong to this world. Similar to dot the fairy world, the upper world, the ghost world, a place where you think you are superior to others. After all, this is an old-fashioned setting in the fantasy world. So it's not hard to guess. Zhang Qingni said nothing, just stared at Ling Shui. She did come from another place, but it wasn't called the heavenly realm, but a unique world. A unique space. The people in your place are generally stronger than the people in this world. It should be, that they have more spiritual energy or something. Ling Shui then guessed, then I raised a group of self-righteous idiots like you. In your eyes, everyone in this world is just an ant. Right. Zhang Qingni still didn't speak, because what Ling Shui said was basically the same. With an idiot brother like Yi Feng, it's understandable that you, the sister, are an idiot. Ling Shui then smiled lightly. Zhang Qingni gritted her teeth. Ling Shui humiliated her today, and she vowed to repay him a hundredfold in the future. Calling you an idiot, you seem to have a lot of opinions. Ling Shui lowered his head slightly. Then with a thought, the blood-red sharp fragments floated out. She moved closer to Zhang Qingni's face. Come on, tell me yourself. You came here alone, you don't know the heights of the world, and you are arrogant. Tell me, are you an idiot? Zhang Qingni said nothing, because what Ling Shui said is right. She was indeed careless. If she could be more careful and take Ling Shui more seriously, maybe this wouldn't be the ending. I told you, I'm good at making people who don't want to speak speak. The blood-red sharp fragments kept approaching Zhang Qingni's face, answer my question, are you an idiot? Zhang Qingni gritted her teeth. Do you have to ask yourself to speak out about such a problem? Is he satisfied with just humiliating himself in this way?
Don't you think this behavior is childish and vulgar? You don't admit it. Okay. Ling Shui smiled coldly. Then I will carve two words on your face, idiot. Then you will have to admit it. As soon as these words came out, Zhang Qingni's eyes suddenly changed. She doesn't doubt that people like Ling Shui can really say it and do it. Immediately she said in a hurry, I am. God knows how aggrieved she felt at this time. Are you forced to admit that you are an idiot? This is downright stupid. This kind of shame is simply unprecedented. Very good. Then, Dot who is the aunt? Ling Shui asked next. Zhang Qingni gritted her teeth, and then she had no choice but to admit defeat. I. I am. Now, of course, she only obeys Ling Shui in everything. Because she was really afraid that Ling Shui would carve words on her face. She doesn't care if Ling Shui kills her, but carving words on her face is a life worse than death for her. Seeing Zhang Qinglu's appearance, Ling Er put away the sharp pieces. Ling Shui doesn't mind using any method to deal with such a shabby woman. Even in a shitty way. Ling Shui then said calmly, Now, tell me everything you know, your identity, your mother, and everything I want to know. Now, Zhang Qingni obeys Ling Shui's advice. She had to do whatever Ling Shui asked her to do. She had to say whatever Ling Shui asked her to say. On the contrary, if Ling Shui doesn't let her do, say or think, she will absolutely not be able to do, say or think. This is absolute control. Control inside and out. Therefore, under Ling Shui's control, she naturally told everything Ling Shui wanted to know in detail. She did not come from some upper realm of fairyland. It is an extremely hidden independent space on one side. In ancient times, the human race, the demon race, and the void race competed for hegemony. There are constant wars, and in such a war-torn era, a decisive battle between the three tribes was coming. A group of people suddenly discovered a hidden paradise, an extraterrestrial space. Named, Tianshu Jedi, that space is extremely wide, with multiple continents, comparable to a single world. So, that group of people hid in that vast new world. Just living an ignoble existence. And after they hid in, the outside world did experience one final battle after another. All three clans were seriously injured. It also led to the depletion of resources in the outside world. The outside world is becoming more and more riddled with holes, but the Tianshu Jedi where they are hiding is peaceful and getting stronger. It just went in two different directions. I don't know how many thousands of years have passed. Until now. Therefore, the Tianshu Jedi where Zhang Qingni is located is of course full of spiritual energy, and of course the practitioners are generally stronger than the people in this world today. A group of people who are just living an ignoble existence still look down on the homeland where they were originally born. Ling Shui sneered and looked at Zhang Qingni in front of her. During the war, you deserted. After the war, you who managed to survive and remain safe feel that you are superior to others and look down on your original world. Just like those poor people who came out of small villages and entered the big cities, they no longer look down on their homes. I really don't know where you get your sense of superiority from. Even I, a villain, think you are rubbish. Do you think you are rubbish? That was all done by our ancestors, what does it have to do with us? Zhang Qingni frowned and said. Aha, so, your ancestors were a people who were just trying to get around, so you are not a people who are just trying to get along. Ling Shui looked down at Zhang Qingni, so you think you can be superior to others in this era? Can you look down on the descendants of those who died in the war? In that war-torn era, being able to survive was a victory in itself. Zhang Qingni glared at Ling Shui and said, in that era, who was not struggling to survive? That's really a bit unreasonable. Ling Shui looked at Zhang Qinglu and did not argue with her. He just continued. So, your world's resources and spiritual energy are more abundant than ours. Zhang Qingni looked at him, feeling inexplicably uneasy again. What does he want to do? What does he want to do again? If you want to plunder the Tianshu Jedi, you'd better consider your own abilities. Zhang Qingni then said, In the Tianshu Jedi land, there are many extreme martial realms. The strongest ones, can even reach the 10th extreme martial realm. Your mother is in the 10th realm of martial arts. Ling Shui then asked. Yes, Zhang Qingni said coldly. Do you regret it? You offended someone you shouldn't have offended. Regret, Ling Shui sneered. 
if I said I could make your mother kneel in front of me with her mouth open like you, would you believe it? Quote dot 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 quote. These words immediately caused Zhang Qingni's complexion to change again. Too presumptuous. This Ling Shui is too presumptuous. How dare you offend your mother by not telling her this? But she didn't dare to contradict Ling Shui at this time. Because she does not have the ability to refute Ling Shui. According to what you just said, your mother still has many children. Ling Shui continued, but those children have no father. In other words, your mother is not with their father. Zhang Qingni lowered her head and said nothing. Because, it is indeed so. Her mother does have many children, many children. But, dot her mother didn't have any man. It's like those men are just her sewing tools. She only needs children, children of all bloodlines. But no man is needed. So I said she played very slutty, am I wrong? Ling Shui continued with a smile. Therefore, Ling Shui would dislike such a woman, even if she uses her mouth. Zhang Qingni said nothing, there is nothing wrong, but to say it directly is offensive. Ling Shui then let out a breath. With the current strength of the demon sect, it is of course impossible to plunder the Tianshu Jedi. But the strongest among the Jedi in Tianshu is only the tenth realm of extreme martial arts, which proves that they are not much stronger. Because Ling Shui can also reach the tenth realm of extreme martial arts in his own world. This world can also give birth to a higher realm. It's just that because of the previous wars, it is relatively backward. Otherwise, there is nothing special about Tianshu Jedi. However, the resources gathered there must indeed be richer than those in this world today. However, you can make use of the Tianshu Jedi to make your magic sect grow rapidly. Zhang Qing is a very good chess piece. I wanted to kill you directly, but now, you are still somewhat useful. Ling Shui then said slowly, the Tianshu Jedi, Yang's immortal dynasty, should have a lot of good things. Panacea, secrets of skills, artifacts, magic weapons, and even, people. Anyway, no matter what, the Tianshu Jedi's stuff is definitely much richer than the current demon sect. And Zhang Qingni can bring those precious resources to herself. Zhang Qingni said nothing because she had already seen what Ling Er was thinking. Ling Shui wanted to take advantage of her and ask her to bring everything Ling Shui wanted after she went back. Because Ling Shui can control everything about her, her actions and thoughts. Ling Shui can let her pretend to be safe and sound and go back, pretending that she has killed Ling Shui. That way it won't arouse anyone's suspicion. Then, she can secretly continue to provide resources to Ling Shui. Let Ling Shui become more powerful. In the end, Ling Shui will definitely fight back into Tianshu and seize that side of the world. But, there was one thing she couldn't figure out. She can understand elixirs, magic weapons, etc. But what does man, mean? Is it possible that Ling Shui also wants her to bring some people to work for Ling Shui? Who will work for him? From now on, call me. Master, Ling Shui continued. Don't even think about it. Zhang Qingni wanted to say these three words, but the other three words came out as soon as she opened her mouth, yes. As soon as these words came out, she immediately covered her mouth. What are you doing? Could it be that I really couldn't resist him? Don't even have the right to speak. Then you can go back. After you go back, don't expose everything. You only have one mission. Help me bring as many useful things as possible. Ling Shui continued. By the way, bring as many top experts as you can. It's best to be the kind of expert who won't arouse suspicion even if he goes missing. Zhang Qingni had no idea why Ling Shui did this or why he brought people here. But she just obeyed. From now on, your every move, word and deed, not even your eyes, should be exposed in any way. Ling Shui continued. You, go back safe and sound, and serve me safe and sound. Yes, master. Zhang Qingni felt that her thoughts were under control the next moment. Everything is developing in the direction Ling Shui wants. Completely turned into a walking zombie. But not quite the walking dead. Ling Shui just closed some of her consciousness to prevent her from being exposed when she goes back. She is still Zhang Qinglu. But it is Zhang Qingni who will do her best to serve Ling Shui. Before that. Dot one more thing. Ling Shui smiled and then waved. Follow me. Zhang Qingni, who was kneeling on the spot, stood up obediently. Then he and Ling Shui left the sixth floor. They first came to the fifth floor, the space of chains. 
Ling Shui paused for a moment, looking at the black shadow in the center that was completely chained through the body. The black figure was still the same as when they met before, just looking at Ling Shui without moving or speaking. After pondering for a moment, Ling Shui gave up the idea of releasing this guy. This guy must be special. No one knows what the consequences will be if he is released now. So, let's talk about it later. Immediately afterwards, he took Zhang Qingni to the fourth floor. That galaxy world. The huge void demonic dragon is still soaring in the galaxy. When it noticed Ling Shui, it just glanced at Ling Shui, are you not going to give up? Ling Shui just smiled faintly, I gave you a chance before. Ha ha, opportunity, do you really think you have that qualification? The void demonic dragon sneered and said the same thing as before. Ling Shui said no more. Since you have been given the opportunity, of course it is only once. Now, it's gone. Immediately afterwards, Ling Shui waved lightly, take it. He is currently only at the first level of extreme martial arts, and with the Chenkin sword art, he can be compared to the second level of extreme martial arts. But if you fight against the void demonic dragon in the third realm of extreme martial arts, it will indeed be very difficult. But, he has Zhang Qinglu in his hand, and Zhang Qinglu can help him take down the void demonic dragon. Originally, Ling Shui planned to let Ji Xiaoyao come, but now that Zhang Qingni is here. Of course that's convenient, let a stronger being help him deal with the prisoners that he can't deal with. Wow, as soon as Ling Shui finished speaking, Zhang Qingni shot away without hesitation. She is now Ling Shui's slave, and she will absolutely obey whatever Ling Shui asks her to do. Bringing a helper, do you think you can make me surrender like this? On the opposite side, the void demonic dragon snorted coldly. The next moment, the temple-sized body burst out with the vast power of the void. Opening the dragon's mouth, a pillar of void light burst out towards Zhang Qingni. The dazzling void light pillar illuminated the entire space. But the next moment, something happened that caused the void demonic dragon's eyes to change drastically. I saw Zhang Qingni carrying the ice blue cold air all over her body, directly passing through its void light beam. He actually ignored its attack. How is that possible? The void demonic dragon was shocked. Is this woman's strength? Is it even stronger than that? Bang! The next moment, Zhang Qingni had already reached the top of its head, and suddenly slapped its huge dragon head with a chill in her palm. Suddenly its entire huge body was shaken and flew backwards. The scales on the body were peeled off a little by the shock. At this moment, it suddenly came to its senses. This woman was not only stronger than it, but more than a little bit stronger than it. Whoosh! The next moment, before it could stabilize its figure, Zhang Qingni flew up again. With a wave of his jade hand, vast yellow energy burst out. The void demonic dragon felt as if the space around him was solidified. The entire huge body became slower. F. Call out. A huge ice pick shot out and penetrated its body directly. Boo hoo hoo. Immediately afterwards, a series of ice picks, like javelins, penetrated it one by one. Along with its bursts of painful howls, in the blink of an eye, it was penetrated by dense ice picks and held in place. There is no way to fight back. With only the strength of the three realms, it is of course far from being an opponent of the five realms. At this moment, Ling Shui waved gently. Only then did Zhang Qingdian stop. Ling Shui doesn't want its life, but its power. At this time, the entire body of the void demonic dragon was penetrated by countless ice picks and fixed in place. The empty energy all over the body collapsed and he was dying. I, I am willing to surrender. As long as you spare my life, I will serve you from now on. Immediately it shouted to Ling Shui. It never expected that there would be such a strong person beside Ling Shui. If I had said it earlier, I would not have been so self-righteous. I said, you still had a chance to choose before. Ling Shui's figure came to the front of the fixed void dragon, now, it's too late. After saying that, he raised his palm and placed it on the huge head of the void demonic dragon. The void demon dragon has no idea what Ling Shui is going to do. The next moment, Ling Shui's 100% swallowing ability was activated. The void demonic dragon suddenly felt that all the power in his body was rolling towards Ling Shui like he was bleeding. What, what do you want to do? It roared quickly. Ling Shui said nothing. Do what? Of course, 
I have obtained the strength of the third level of Jiwu. Please, let me go, let me do whatever you want. As your slave, as your mount, I can still play a role, I can still play a role. The void demonic dragon began to beg Ling Shui desperately. The whole dragon suddenly turned into a lowly insect. Unfortunately, it's too late. Ling Shui's terrifying devouring power began to circulate, and not long after, it became exhausted amidst the wailing sounds. The entire originally huge body turned into a withered dragon corpse. All the void power in the body has been completely drained. All integrated into Ling Shui's body. After completely swallowing the void demon dragon, Ling Shui slowly raised his palm. He clenched his fist slightly. At this moment, his strength had reached the third level of extreme martial arts. Then something clicked in his mind. Suddenly a burst of blood-red aura rose up. It is not pure spiritual power, but the fusion of spiritual calendar and void calendar. The blood-red spiritual energy also contained a strange blood-colored light. Looking at the spiritual energy integrated with the power of the void, Ling Shui narrowed his eyes slightly. It feels like, this kind of power is more powerful than pure aura or void power. You. Dot you can actually fuse spiritual power and void power. Zhang Qingni next to her was full of shock at this time. Spiritual power, demonic power, and void power. This is something that is absolutely impossible to fuse. But now, it appears in the same person. Ling Shui actually has such ability. Not only can he swallow all the opponent's power, but he can also merge it with his own power. What kind of monster is he? At this moment, Zhang Qingni seems to have truly realized how unfathomable Ling Shui is. Able to control others, able to swallow all the power of others to make oneself stronger. You can even fuse the power of the void. What is this if not a monster? She then reacted all of a sudden. Is this why Ling Shui asked her to bring some strong men over? Ling Shui plans to devour the strong men she brought to improve her own strength. This is too scary. Think about it, if you bring him a tenth realm of extreme martial arts that he can control at his mercy, wouldn't he be able to directly leap to the tenth realm of extreme martial arts by swallowing half of the opponent Iod? Is there such a terrifying method in the world? You should be glad that you are still worth using. Ling Shui turned her head slightly and looked at Zhang Qingni, otherwise, this will be your result. If keeping Zhang Qingni hadn't brought him greater benefits, he could have devoured Zhang Qingni directly. That way you can directly reach the fifth realm of extreme martial arts. Now, if you keep her, the benefits she can bring to you are not just as simple as reaching the fifth level of extreme martial arts. Zhang Qingni didn't speak, she just glanced at the withered void dragon corpse. She was indeed glad that this was not the result. Who knew this Ling Shui could have so many tricks? Do you feel like, your eyes have suddenly been opened? At this time, Ling Shui spoke again. Zhang Qingni remained silent. She indeed never thought that there would be people like Ling Shui in the world, and that there would be such weird abilities as Ling Shui. She has indeed gained a lot of experience. The world you are in is just a remote corner after all. The world outside is full of wonders and wonders and is the real big world. Ling Shui continued. So, do you still think you are superior to others? The Tianshu Jedi are indeed powerful. But compared to the outside world, it is a small place after all. Because in the outside world, there are infinite possibilities and an infinite future. There are countless things that the Tianshu Jedi don't possess. No matter what, the Tianshu Jedi are just the tip of the iceberg in this complete world. Just the tip of the iceberg will definitely make you rich. Zhang Qingni lowered her head slightly. How does she still feel that she is superior to others? Her pride had been destroyed to nothing when she was treated like that by Ling Shui. Only shame remains. Then, Ling Shui waved his hand. Boom, the withered dragon corpse and Zhang Qingni's ice picks all turned into countless light spots and dissipated with a bang. Sure enough, my aura, which is fused with the power of the void, is more aggressive. Now that I am in the third level of Jiwu, I have integrated the power of void and spiritual power, plus the Chenkin sword art and the fragments that are 100% penetrable. Even in a head-on battle with Zhang Qinglu from the fifth realm, she might still be able to survive. Ling Shui smiled faintly and put away her hand. From now on, this fourth floor is also vacant. In the future, if you encounter someone from the third realm of Jiwu that you want to control, you can also bring that person in and control him. 
Then, Ling Shui wave. Then he took Zhang Qingni and left the Shira Purgatory Tower together. When they walked out of Shira Purgatory Tower, Ji Xiaoyao and others were still waiting. Ha, huh, master, why did your strength suddenly increase so much? Others couldn't tell, but Ji Xiaoyao could see at a glance that Ling Shui's strength suddenly reached the third level of extreme martial arts from the first level. Ling Shui didn't explain too much, just put away the Shira Purgatory Tower. Then he glanced at Zhang Qingni. Under the control of Ling Shui, Zhang Qingni immediately completely unsealed the entire frozen imperial capital below. This time Zhang Qingni's sudden attack, apart from her own humiliation, there were no casualties on either side. Yu 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 and others looked at Ling Shui and Zhang Qinglu curiously. So, it's over, is that all? This Zhang Qingni has been subdued by Ling Shui. Let's go, remember what I said. Ling Shui then waved and said nothing more. Yes, master. Zhang Qingni just nodded lightly, then tore apart the space and turned around to leave. Her consciousness is now under Ling Shui's control. After returning, she was still herself, and no one could tell the difference. But she will secretly continue to think of ways for Ling Shui and help Ling Shui deliver supplies. And... Dot the strong one. Try to bring Ling Shui controllable top experts as much as possible, so that Ling Shui can devour an upgrade. After Zhang Qingni left, Ling Shui and the others were left standing in midair. As well as the imperial capital that has just been completely unblocked below. At this time, everyone in the imperial capital raised their heads and looked at the sky. What happened? Just now, we were all frozen. Yes, I was frozen by that woman. I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead too. Did. Dot the demon lord save us. Who else could it be? Let me just say, the demon sect is unparalleled in the world, how can anyone be an enemy of the demon sect? Under the protection of the demon gate, I will never be in danger. There was an uproar in the imperial capital. Although no one knew what happened. But I was saved, and there was no danger. Sure enough, you are always safe in the demon sect. High in the sky, Yu 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 also exhaled, I was shocked. I thought my empire was about to be destroyed just after it was established. As she spoke, she looked at Ling Shui with her beautiful eyes, I also thought you might not be able to deal with that woman. After all, Zhang Qingni has the strength of the fifth realm of extreme martial arts. Before that, Yu 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 also thought that there was nothing the demon sect could do. Unexpectedly, Ling Shui would use the Shira Purgatory Tower to deal with Zhang Qingni. How did you get to the sixth floor of Shira Purgatory Tower? Yu 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 then came over and asked curiously, are you still hiding your strength? After all, she did not participate in the siege of the 36 immortal palaces, so she didn't know about the extra small artifact in Ling Shui's hands. Ling Shui did not answer her question, but just asked, this Shira Purgatory Tower can only hold one person on the first floor. I have no idea. Yu 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 shook her head. I have only reached the second floor before. But, I should be able to detain more people, right? Ling Shui nodded slightly. He also felt that it should be impossible for such a vast space on the first floor to be able to hold only one person. If he can be imprisoned more, then he, he can bring an army of strong men with him wherever he goes. Then, Ling Shui waved. If nothing goes wrong, go back. He also planned to go to the higher levels of Shira Purgatory Tower to see it. I'll go back with you. At this time, Yu 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 said suddenly. You won't be your empress. Ling Shui looked at her. I'm, bored to death, I'm thinking of you. Yu 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 pouted slightly. Here in the empire, just tell us to go down. Looking at Yu Yu Yu's appearance, Ling Shui naturally knew what she was thinking. So he raised his hand and pinched her cheek. Okay, come back with me. Yu 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 smiled and nodded quickly. As an emperor, you must have a man who can do it, right? Ling Shui is the most capable man in the world. Either get rid of him tonight, or let him get rid of you. Immediately afterwards, Ling Shui took Yu 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 and others back to Kang Yin Tianshan. And tonight, the person Ling Shui turned over was naturally Yu Yu Yu. On the other side, Tian Shu Jedi. This is an independent space hidden in this world. It's extremely spacious here. There are five vast continents. The people who entered Tianshu Jedi back then were initially divided into five major families. Later, with the long-term development, some separation occurred among the five major families. 
so they each occupied a continent and established an empire. Calls itself, Immortal Dynasty, Five Immortal Dynasties. When we entered here before, everyone was united. After all, we are all people who have lived together in an ignoble way, so of course we are united. But after a long history, those so-called unity are of course completely unable to withstand any test. So, it was completely divided. Up to now, the five great immortal dynasties have occupied their respective territories and are fighting overtly and covertly. In their view, the outside world is regarded as a backward ruin after the war. They look down upon it. But they all want to take possession of the five continents of Tianshu Jedi. Yang's immortal dynasty is one of them. And it is one of the more special existences. Because the leader of Yang's immortal dynasty is one person. She is the only female emperor among the five immortal dynasties. That is, she is the mother of Yi Feng, Zhang Qingni and others. Zhang Yuan, in this Tianshu Jedi land, there are five existences in the tenth realm of extreme martial arts. Zhang Yuan is one of them. This is a famous female werewolf. Back then, he personally killed the previous emperor of Yang's immortal dynasty, as well as all her brothers and sisters. She was the only one left so she successfully ascended the throne. Of course, she is also a famous loose woman. I have had countless men. But no one dared to say anything wrong about her. After all, a man with power and strength can have many women. In her opinion, a woman with strength and power can also have many men. But she has never really been attracted to any man. For any man, it is just a short feeling. It's over, it's over completely. All the men she had seemed to be just her tools. Venting tool, seed tool. So, dot she had a lot of kids. Each child is her biological child, but the father of each child is not the same person. All the children she gave birth to, as long as they stayed with her, would have her last name, surname Zhang. But if she didn't stay with her, then she didn't care. Either the talent is too poor, or there are various problems. Anyway, as long as the child is not up to standard, she will directly abandon it. Yi Feng is of course one of them. At first she just had a whim and wanted to go to the outside world to see if she could find a good man. Then give birth to excellent offspring. Unfortunately, she was not satisfied when Yi Feng was born. So he left Yi Feng in the outside world with disgust. Sure enough, the outside world is full of inferior blood. She has so many children, and not everyone cares about them. But after all, it is her child. If her child dies, she will still care to some extent. At the very least, if someone killed her child, even if it was the child she abandoned, she would not let him go. So, this time Yi Feng was killed, she felt it. So, Zhang Qingni was sent out. Once the outside world was so weak, she felt there was no need for her to speak out. Secondly, she didn't care much about Yi Feng. She would just die and just take revenge. Third time, on the Tianshu Jedi side, the five immortal dynasties are competing for hegemony, and a war may break out at any time, so of course she can't get away. So, Zhang Qinglu went. In her opinion, with Zhang Qingni's strength at the fifth level of extreme martial arts, he could completely sweep the world and that inferior world without any accidents. Unfortunately, this time she was wrong. Of course, she didn't know she was wrong. After Zhang Qingni came back, she came to the immortal palace of Yang's immortal dynasty. Come find her mother Zhang Yuan. In the fairy palace shrouded in spiritual mist, Zhang Yuan was lying behind the bead curtain. Lying down, wearing a golden robe. That extremely plump figure arouses endless reverie. For men, this is definitely a body full of infinite temptation. Plump, slim, enchanting and charming. The golden robes couldn't seem to wrap up the round pair, and their posture was about to explode at any time. It is said that the more slutty a woman is, the plumper she is. This is actually true. Zhang Yuan is a good example. A woman who is extremely plump. That face was just like her own, mature and charming, with an expression of being fed at any time. The effect of picking up yang and replenishing yin is clearly visible on her face. At this time, she was surrounded by a group of male slaves wearing masks, rubbing her legs and slapping her shoulders. A group of male slaves were kneeling or standing to serve her. After Zhang Qingni arrived, she stood outside the bead curtain and knelt down to worship, mother. Most of the reason why she came up with the idea of finding a male slave was from Zhang Yuan. 
but she is not Zhang Yuan after all, and she really doesn't like ordinary men. Thinking of a group of not-so-good men surrounding her, she would feel sick. This time I went outside and met a very handsome man. Of course it's Ling Shui. It's a pity, how could a man like Ling Shui be her male slave? On the contrary, she was treated harshly by Ling Shui like a slave. Even in Ling Shui's eyes, she, a slave, is only qualified to use her mouth. Not really qualified to be favored by Ling Shui. Came back. Behind the bead curtain, Zhang Yuan's extremely mature voice slowly sounded, has it been dealt with? They're just ants in the extreme martial arts realm. Zhang Qingni lowered her head and said, I've broken it to ashes. There were no loopholes in her words. She calls the people in that world ants, which makes sense. Behind the bead curtain, Zhang Yuan nodded slowly. Then, I won't say more about Yi Feng and Ling Shui. He just changed the subject and said, The strong men of the Yao family have secretly approached the border of our Zhang family's immortal dynasty. You should also be prepared to take action at any time. In Tianshu Jedi, the struggle between the five major families is urgent. A war could break out at any time. Yes, Zhang Qinglu nodded. Go for it, Zhang Yuan who was behind the bead curtain, waved. Zhang Qingni then stood up and left. But she was not planning to start a war at any time. Instead, he was thinking about how to collect the top treasures of Yang's immortal dynasty so that Ling Shui could take them there. At the same time, she also began to look for it. See if there are any strong people who are similar to yourself, and find a way to bring them to Ling Shui, so that Ling Shui can devour those who are promoted. Kenyan Tianshan, the main altar of the demon sect. In Ling Shui's bedroom, he was alone in the palace again. Leave the small and dry snow outside and wait. At this time, the two girls sat together again and started chatting. Let's just talk about whether the demon lord will suddenly have another person in the room this time. It was like this every time. When he went in, he was alone, but when he came out, there was another beauty beside him. This time, I wonder what kind of woman will be brought out. At this time, in the bedroom, Ling Shui has entered the Shira Purgatory Tower and has reached dot the seventh floor. The seventh floor of Shira Purgatory Tower is the same as 963 below. Here is a normal space. There are blue skies and white clouds, mountains and rivers. A large virgin forest. The forest is filled with all kinds of strange spiritual fruits. In this world of primitive forest, Ling Er only saw one monkey. A little golden monkey. It is the only, living creature in this primeval forest. It was squatting on a fairy peach tree at this time, holding a few peaches in its arms. When it sensed someone coming, it looked towards Ling Shui. Ling Shui also narrowed his eyes slightly at this time. WTF, monkey, this majestic Shira Purgatory Tower is closed, so this is the only gadget, right? You are the only one here, Ling Shui said immediately. The little monkey looked at Ling Shui with big eyes, and then spoke, Who are you? What are you doing here? I tell you this is my territory, no one can stare at me. Hearing this, Ling Shui frowned, You, like it here? Nonsense, there are so many delicious foods here, who wouldn't like it? The little monkey replied. Then, dot you don't want to go out? Ling Shui asked next. Go out, am I an idiot? Where can I find such a good place? Why go out? I finally got in, the little monkey replied. As soon as these words came out, Ling Shui was even more confused. So, this little thing came in on its own. Amazing. Except for the mysterious black shadow in the void, who wouldn't want to get out of the things locked on the lower floors. Ching'er and Ji Xiaoyao were eager to take them out as soon as they met. But this little monkey locked up on the seventh floor, not only did it not go out, but it even came in on its own in the first place. But, I guess so, this seventh level is an endless lush forest. There is sky and earth, but it is not as empty as the space below. And here, there's delicious food. If there's nothing to worry about outside, it certainly likes to be there. Ling Shui then nodded, Okay, since you don't want to go out, there's no need to say anything to it. This guy looks like a small thing, but how easy would it be to be locked up on the seventh floor? Presumably, it should have the strength of the sixth realm of extreme martial arts. Then don't say anything more to it. I'm just passing by. After Ling Shui said something else, 
he shot towards the top of the sky. The little monkey didn't pay attention, and continued to squat on the treetop, and then tasted the fairy peach in his arms. Relax and feel at ease. After Ling Shui reached the top of the sky, he continued to use the small fragment to break the barrier. Then, entered the eighth floor. This eighth level is a desert world. At a glance, there is endless yellow sand. A very peaceful and boundless desert. Of course, all this can't be as peaceful as it seems. Dot dot dot. The next moment, as expected, the sky was filled with yellow sand and a strong wind suddenly blew up. Then, the rolled up yellow sand condensed into a blurry human face. The terrifying evil spirit instantly filled the entire desert. Ling Shui could naturally see that the yellow sand in the sky was transformed by a big demon. The entire desert is its essence. Human, the three realms of extreme martial arts. At this time, the yellow sand face made a voice. How did you get here? You, also want to control me. It seems that someone has been here before. Ling Shui said with a faint smile. More than one came, but they all came back without success. Wang Sha Renlian replied. They are stronger than you, so, dot you don't have to waste time. It seems that I want you to surrender. There is no possibility at the moment. Ling Shui smiled. It's never possible, Wang Sha said solemnly. Oh well. Ling Shui breathed out softly. I'm just passing by, farewell. After saying that, he shot towards the sky. This sand demon should have the strength of the seventh realm of extreme martial arts. So, of course, there is no need to talk to it, let alone take action. If we take action now, I'm afraid we won't get any benefits. The sand demon looked at Ling Shui walking away, seemingly curious. Passing by, what is passing by? Could he, still go to a higher level? Then, under its gaze, Ling Shui arrived at the entrance of the ninth floor. Then, he opened the barrier and rushed towards the fifth kitchen. The sand demon was left with a shocked look on his face. This guy, really has this ability. Can he really get to a higher level? Really passing by, Shira Purgatory Tower, ninth floor. Here is a world of lava. Red mountain peaks, rolling lava. In the magma, you can see all kinds of magic weapons, large and small, inserted everywhere. Some are only about one meter in length. Some are thousands of feet huge. The entire magma world is like a huge forging furnace. Forge this entire world. Dang, dang, dang. From the lava, the clanging sound of iron was heard continuously. Ling Shui's figure slowly floated over. Although he is not here to conquer the existence here, it is of course beneficial to understand it in advance. Only by understanding clearly can we deal with the other party in a targeted manner. After Ling Shui's body floated over, he came to a huge red mountain peak in the middle of the magma. On the top of the mountain, there is a cave. At this time, a strong stone man whose body was covered with solidified stone was forging iron. A huge hammer in his hand struck the fiery black iron with a clanging sound. Blacksmith. Of course Ling Shui could tell at a glance that this stone man belonged to an exotic monster. And, he's a blacksmith. A blacksmith in the eighth realm of Jiwu, this is a very valuable existence. In this world, there are two professions that are the most popular. Blacksmith and alchemist. Unexpectedly, a top blacksmith is locked up here. A blacksmith of this level, in today's outside world, can be called the best in the world. Of course the stone man was aware of Ling Shui's arrival. So he raised his head and looked at Ling Shui. The third realm of extreme martial arts. He was also very curious as to why a person in the third level of Jiwu could actually come to this ninth level. You probably didn't come here on your own initiative, right? Ling Shui said. Which fool would be willing to take the initiative to enter this kind of cage? The stone man's rough voice sounded. Ling Shui smiled, and there was a stupid monkey down there, and it came in on its own initiative. Then, do you want to go out? Ling Shui then asked. If you can go out for free, that's natural. The stone man replied. But, I guess nothing is free in this world. Of course he knew that the only way to get out was to hand over the ancient pagoda seal and become a slave controlled by Ling Shui. I don't restrict your freedom, but you have to serve me. Ling Shui said lightly. This is a super blacksmith in the eighth realm of extreme martial arts. If this can be brought under his command, the benefits it can bring to the entire demon sect are self-evident. Ha ha, I never work for anyone. 
The stone man smiled coldly. Ling Shui shook her head and said no more. Being a blacksmith and an alchemist are extremely noble professions. Therefore, such professionals have always been arrogant in nature. I generally don't surrender to anyone casually. What's more, a blacksmith of this level. In this case, there is no need to say more and you will slowly convince him later. Since you are unwilling to go out, I will go up there to see if the people above are willing to go out. Ling Shui smiled. Can you go higher? The stone man was a little curious. I thought Ling Shui was already powerful enough to reach the ninth floor, but he could still go up. It should be possible. Ling Shui smiled. Then, Dot can you do me a favor? The stone man suddenly said, the person locked on the upper floor is a friend of mine. Oh, Ling Shui looked at him curiously, wanting to hear what he meant by helping. Back then, I was imprisoned here just to save my friend. I feel ashamed that I couldn't save him. The stone man continued, please help me give him this gift. This is something he has always wanted. Just say, I owed him something before, and now I have paid it back. After saying that, he just raised the stone palm. Buzz. Suddenly, five groups of snow-white flames rose up. When seeing these five white flames, Ling Shui narrowed his eyes slightly. Isn't this, Baming Demon Fire? He actually has five balls of fire in his hand. Immediately, the corner of Ling Shui's mouth curled up. So, do you owe me a favor? Nature, the stone man nodded. Besides asking me to surrender to you, other things. I can help you. I can help you forge a weapon that makes you happy. Ling Shui smiled. I don't need weapons, you just need to remember that you owe me a favor. Okay, it's a deal. The stone man nodded, and then the five white balls of fire floated towards Ling Shui. After Ling Shui took Zaihuo, he put it away. Then he stopped lingering, said goodbye, and flew towards the first floor. Then, he broke through the entrance barrier on the tenth floor. Arriving at dot the tenth floor. This tenth floor is shrouded in clouds and mist. In the clouds and mist, there was a towering tree rising from the ground. It is a thousand feet thick, and its height supports the heaven and earth. Ling Shui flew over slowly. Then it was discovered that the inside of this giant tree was hollow. There are various large and small rooms built inside. Various strange shaped medicinal herbs are placed neatly in each room. Waves of fragrance of vegetation filled the surrounding area. How did you get here? At this moment, a gentle voice sounded. Ling Shui turned her head slightly and saw a figure standing at the door of a room. It was a tree man whose whole body was made of vines and trees. And they are all alive, and they can even bear fruit. This is a dryad, and he is a very elegant and gentle tree demon. Otherwise, we wouldn't have kept this place so clean and tidy. Your Excellency. Dot are you an alchemist? Ling Shui asked slowly. Yes, the tree demon nodded. An alchemist at the ninth level of extreme martial arts, and a blacksmith friend at the eighth level of extreme martial arts. Ling Shui smiled. These two guys are both treasures. If they could all be under his command, it would be a huge profit. How do you know I have a blacksmith friend? The tree demon asked curiously. He's on the lower level. He said he was locked down there because he was trying to save you. Ling Shui said slowly. As soon as these words came out, the tree demon's eyes suddenly changed slightly, he actually came to save me. And, he was also locked up in this ancient tower. That idiot, a reckless man. It seems that you have a good relationship. Ling Shui smiled. We are indeed friends. The dryad replied, I can let you out, and I can let him out too. As long as you nod. Ling Er continued. What do you mean? Dot let me be controlled by you. The tree demon naturally knew what Ling Shui meant. I will never restrict your freedom, I just need you to work for me. Ling Shui said lightly. Hee hee, the tree demon laughed. Yan Lei, he rejected you, right? Yan Lei, is that the one below? Ling Shui smiled. He did reject me. Since he has rejected you, how can I agree to you? The tree demon continued. Hearing this, Ling Shui smiled again. Well, as expected, alchemists and blacksmiths alike will not be loyal to others casually. Can you enter and exit this Shira Purgatory Tower freely? The tree demon then asked. I don't know which floor I can reach, so come in and give it a try. Ling Shui replied. Then, when you go down later, can you, bring me something to give to the person below? The tree demon continued. 
this is what he has always wanted. He was imprisoned here to save me, so I owe him. This, just give it to him as a gift. Oh, Ling Shui looked at him curiously. The tree demon then raised the palm entwined with vines. Then, five groups of snow-white flames rose up. Seeing this scene, Ling Shui suddenly narrowed his eyes slightly. It's by Ming Demon Fire again. You two are so interesting. Who has five balls of Baming Demon Fire sub-fire in their hands, even if they have to give it to the other party? The corner of Ling Shui's mouth curled up. Am I becoming a middleman? Doesn't this mean we can eat both sides? I'm not an errand boy, so how can I really deliver a token to you? Ling Shui immediately nodded lightly. So, do you owe me a favor? If you have any request that I can do, I can grant it to you. The Dryad replied. Of course, if you want me to work for you, that's not possible. After all, he is a top alchemist in the ninth level of Jiwu. It's not like you can just be loyal to someone casually. What's more, the other party is just a being in the third realm of extreme martial arts. You are an alchemist, I think. I will need your help in the future. Ling Shui said with a faint smile. Okay, if you want me to help you refine elixirs, I will definitely help you refine the elixirs I can. The tree demon nodded. Then with a casual wave of his hand, the five sub-fires of the Baming Demon fire floated towards Ling Shui. Ling Shui took Zaihuo and put it away. I got ten dumplings of fire in one go. This wave is considered a sure profit. As for what you pass on to each other, you all want to give it to each other anyway, so sending it back and forth is in vain. Then you might as well give them all to me. Farewell. Immediately afterwards, Ling Shui stopped staying any longer, jumped forward, and shot towards the eleventh month. The eleventh level, the tenth realm of extreme martial arts. The highest realm that appears in the original work is only the tenth realm of extreme martial arts. After reaching the eleventh floor, go and see if you can continue going up. Can you see, existences that transcend the ten realms of extreme martial arts? After arriving at the entrance to the eleventh floor, Ling Shui used the small fragment to open the end. Still the same, the entrance barrier was easily broken again. Then, Ling Shui rushed away. Enter. Dot the eleventh floor. This eleventh level is a sea of void stars. Among the sea of stars, there were some debris, large and small, floating. Deep and silent, Ling Shui's eyes swept across the suspended ruins, and then, he saw a person. A woman. He was dressed in white clothes and had white hair, sitting cross-legged like this. There was a silk scarf covering her eyes. He is a blind man. That plain yet delicate and beautiful face made Ling Shui think of Yun Luoxi immediately. This woman, is somewhat similar to Yun Luoxi. He was also born with gray hair. The only difference is that she is blind. Also, she certainly looks more mature than Yun Luoxi. In terms of appearance, it's not much different from Yun Luoxi. Another rare and stunning woman. At this time, of course the white-haired woman noticed Ling Shui's arrival. She didn't take any action, but there was a hint of curiosity on her cold and pretty face. Chenkin Sword Ju, are you related to the master of Chenkin Sword? Then, she slowly spoke. Her voice was the same as hers, cold and moving. Although she had no eyes, Ling Shui could feel that she was staring at him. And he sees himself clearly inside and out. She could actually tell at a glance that she had practiced the Chenkin Sword technique. It is worthy of being the pinnacle existence of the ten extreme martial arts realms. Are you, a human? Ling Shui then spoke. This woman in white is not a demon, nor is she a void creature. But a, person. There are actually people being imprisoned here. I am a human. The woman in white nodded lightly. Since you are a human, why are you here? Ling Shui then asked curiously. I have no idea. The woman in white slowly shook her head. I was brought into this ancient pagoda by a mysterious force back then. It is precisely because of this, that I saved my life. Hearing this, Ling Shui narrowed his eyes slightly. Is there such a thing? You don't even know who sent you here. Back then, I joined forces with the Chenkin Sword Master and the Baming Demon Lord to start a battle with the top powerhouses of the Void Clan. The woman in white continued. In that battle, we were no match. Both of them died. At the critical moment. I was sent into this ancient tower and saved my life. Ling Shui was a little surprised when he heard this. 
So, Shi, the master of Chenkin Sword Ju and the master of Baming Demon Fire are from the same era. And, we still know each other. But the first two died, and she was the only one lucky enough to survive. Until now, a being in the tenth realm of extreme martial arts, but he doesn't know how he was sent in. The power that sent you in, must be an existence beyond the tenth realm of extreme martial arts. Ling Shui continued, could it be, that it is the supreme realm? The supreme realm, the woman in white smiled faintly, I can't be sure either. She couldn't be sure, and of course, she didn't understand the other party's intention to save her. In your time, were there any existences beyond the tenth realm of extreme martial arts? Ling Shui then asked. Although our era was brilliant and there were many strong people in the extreme martial realm, but, no one has surpassed the tenth extreme martial realm. The woman in white shook her head. Ling Shui breathed out slowly. That era was more powerful than this era. But, is there no one who has surpassed the tenth realm of extreme martial arts? Only one supreme realm can be born in one world. It seems, no one has yet been able to cross the ten martial realms and reach that realm. Ling Shui then murmured. As he spoke, he raised his head and looked up. So what kind of beings are imprisoned at the top of this Shira Purgatory Tower? Is there really a supreme realm? As soon as Ling Shui said these words, the woman in white was curious, do you think that after surpassing the tenth realm of extreme martial arts, you will reach the supreme realm? Ling Shui looked at her, what else? Which idiot told you that you can reach the supreme realm by surpassing the ten realms of extreme martial arts? The woman in white continued. Ling Shui suddenly laughed dryly. Of course it's that idiot Yu Yu Yu. In fact, he used to think it was somewhat impossible. The tenth realm of extreme martial arts is indeed powerful, but how can it be possible to become omniscient and omnipotent by taking just one more step? So, even if it exceeds the ten realms of extreme martial arts, it is not the supreme realm. Ling Shui then asked. I don't know either. The woman in white shook her head. But as far as I know, there are many realms between the ten realms of extreme martial arts and the supreme realm. Oh, Ling Shui looked at her, waiting for her to continue. This is just a rumor I heard. I can't be sure whether it is true or false. But I can be sure, are you sure, that after surpassing the tenth realm of extreme martial arts, it will definitely not reach the supreme realm. The woman in white continued. The so-called supreme realm is the true peak realm, and there is no higher realm than it. After surpassing the tenth realm of extreme martial arts, there is of course still a long, long way to reach that state. As a person in the tenth realm of extreme martial arts, I know it very well. As far as I know, beyond the ten realms of extreme martial arts, there are also the supreme realm, the holy realm, and the emperor's will. Among these three realms, there are also detailed divisions. Only after surpassing the highest imperial realm can one become supreme. These are some clues and rumors that she came up with after a long period of investigation. It has a certain reference value. Hearing this, Ling Er's eyes narrowed slightly. So, after transcending the ten realms of extreme martial arts, there are still many realms. This Shira Purgatory Tower is divided into 18 floors. This is the 11th floor, and there are seven more floors above. In other words, there should be seven smaller realms above the tenth realm of extreme martial arts. Finally, Fang is the supreme state. Ling Shui looked at the woman in white opposite. So, strictly speaking, this fantasy world is actually very huge. He doubted that the world they were in now was just the tip of the iceberg of the complete world. The original work should only be described in a small scope and realm around Yi Feng. After all, the setting that there is a sky beyond the sky is the most common cliché setting in fantasy novels. Then, do you know where this Shira Purgatory Tower comes from? Ling Shui then asked. The woman in white shook her head. Of course she knew nothing. Has anyone been here before me? Ling Shui then asked. Yes, the woman in white nodded. But you didn't go out. Ling Shui looked at her. As soon as you ask me to work for you, do you think I should agree? The woman in white said calmly. So, if I made such a request, you wouldn't agree. Ling Shui smiled. The woman in white didn't answer. There is no need to answer this question. She was once the pinnacle of an era. As the top strong man, who doesn't have arrogance? I don't restrict your freedom. Ling Shui continued. I only need you to take action when necessary. I never serve anyone. 
The woman in white said calmly, if you release your control over me, I can promise you that I will take action when necessary, no matter what happens to you. Hearing this, Ling Shui smiled again. I've always been the one who negotiated terms, but now you've turned around and negotiated terms with me. You are a being in the tenth realm of extreme martial arts. Now when you go to the outside world, you are a being at the pinnacle of kingship and hegemony. If I don't control you, what if you control me and my entire demon sect in turn? Then how can my demon sect rise? Since she couldn't control the threatening existence, Ling Shui would rather stay in the Shira Purgatory Tower just to be on the safe side. You don't want to be bullied, and I don't want to be bullied either. So there's no need for us to raise this condition. The woman in white then said calmly. Ling Shui smiled and nodded. That makes sense, then let's talk about it later. You haven't answered my question yet, where did your Chenkin swordsmanship come from? The woman in white then asked. When the master of the Chenkin sword died in battle, there should be no complete copy of the Chenkin sword art left. How did Ling Shui practice the Chenkin sword technique? And, how did he reach the 11th floor of the Shira Purgatory Tower with just the strength of the third level of Jiwu? I realized it myself. Ling Shui smiled. Of course, it's all thanks to Yun Luoxi. It was she who allowed herself to possess the complete Chenkin sword art. Enlighten yourself. The woman in white was slightly surprised. Then your understanding is quite high. So I won't wrong you by serving for me. Ling Shui continued. Perhaps you have an infinite future. But, at least let me be loyal to someone whose strength is below mine. I can't do that, the woman in white said lightly. Okay, then, let's talk about it next time we meet. Ling Shui smiled. The woman in white said no more. If Ling Shui has that kind of strength next time he comes here. She doesn't mind serving Ling Shui. Aye aye. The prerequisite is that Ling Shui really has the strength to surpass her. Then, Ling Shui raised his head and looked towards the end of the space. Has anyone been up there before? The woman in white shook her head. I have never personally encountered an existence beyond the tenth realm of martial arts. Ling Shui nodded lightly. Then give it a try and see if you can be the first to see the existence that transcends the ten realms of extreme martial arts. Ling Shui was planning to leave immediately. But at this moment, he suddenly thought of something. So he asked the woman in white again, do you know a woman named Yun Luoxi? Rui Yun Luoxi is related to the existence of the Supreme Realm. Then maybe she doesn't just exist in this era. Still existed in ancient times. Just like the blood-eyed woman who appeared in Taishuan Empire that day. Yun Luoxi, the woman in white shook her head. I don't know you, but, my surname is also Yun. Oh, Ling Shui looked at her. My name is Yun Yu, the woman in white replied. Hey, could she be your descendant? Ling Shui narrowed her eyes. I have never had a man, where did my descendants come from? Yun Yu frowned and said. Ling Shui laughed dryly. Well, she was born with white hair just like you, and she is just as beautiful as you, and even, dot she is a bit better than you. Hearing this, Yun Yu frowned slightly. More beautiful than her. In that ancient era, she was the most beautiful woman in the world. It's really strange to be more beautiful than her. Want to go out and take a look? Ling Shui smiled. Why do you have such an idea? Yun Yu just replied lightly. You can only go out if you are controlled by Ling Shui. She won't be fooled just because of a little curiosity. Ling Shui smiled and said nothing more. So, goodbye. He then said something, and after that, he shot towards the top of the void star sea. Yun Yu was still sitting cross-legged, a little curious. Why does he still want to go up? Could it be, that he could reach a higher level? Further up, what is imprisoned or existences beyond the tenth realm of extreme martial arts? In other words, only those who have surpassed the tenth realm of extreme martial arts can continue to advance. Could it be that, he still has the means to transcend the tenth realm of extreme martial arts? Under Yun Yu's curiosity, Ling Shui came to the entrance of the twelfth floor. He exhaled softly, and then the blood-red sharp fragments floated out. Yun Yu can probably guess why Ling Shui came here. Just because of such a little thing. Immediately afterwards, Ling Shui stopped hesitating and looked at the barrier on the twelfth floor, and then the blood-red sharp fragments burst out. Ding. However, this time, an accident happened. This time, the sharp fragments can no longer break through the barrier as easily as before. 
Instead, it hit the barrier with a ding sound, and the result, didn't move at all. Seeing this scene, Ling Shui frowned slightly. So, is this the limit? The absolute penetrating power of this small fragment is only second to that used in the tenth realm of extreme martial arts and below. Going up further, you no longer have this ability. Also, if it could penetrate any level of defense or barrier, there wouldn't be only such a small fragment left. Then, Ling Shui shook his head in disappointment. Then, he collected the fragments, turned around and flew down. It seems, you are the limit that I can reach now. He shook his head at Yun Yu. You have a lot of tricks up your sleeve. Yun Yu just replied lightly. It's already amazing that someone from the third realm of Jiwu can come here. You really don't plan to go out? Ling Shui asked next. Maybe, I can get out without help from others. Yun Yu replied lightly. As soon as these words came out, Ling Shui suddenly smiled. Of course he understood what Yun Yu meant. She is already in the 10th level of extreme martial arts. If she can surpass this level at any time, then, she will naturally be able to break the 11th level of restrictions. Then leave this place on your own. But, this is indeed a bit difficult. After all, this place is empty and has no aura of heaven and earth. If you want to make a breakthrough solely by yourself, it is really not something that ordinary people can do. Good luck, Ling Shui just said something to Yun Yu, then turned and left. Since Yun Yu refused to obey him, he couldn't go to a higher level. Of course, there is no need to continue to stay in this Shira Purgatory Tower. Outside the palace, on the stone stairs, Xiao Xiao and Ganzu were still sitting together chatting. At this moment, Ling Er walked out of the palace. The two women stood up at the same time, and then felt a little surprised. It's so rare. This time, there is no strange woman around the Lord Demon Lord like before. But, this is also what they want to see. After all, there are already enough women around Ling Shui. If this goes on, their presence will become smaller and smaller. Gather everyone together and prepare to attack the Xuanmai Tianzong. Ling Shui said lightly after coming out. There is still work to be done. The seven major forces that attacked him at the beginning have not all been resolved yet. Immediately afterwards, all the high-ranking and powerful people in the entire demon sect general forum gathered together again. In the main hall, Ling Shui is sitting at the top. Xiao Xiao and Ganzu stood on both sides. Xiao Shangyu and others were standing in the main hall. Ji Xiaoyao found it boring, so she walked up directly and sat on Ling Er's lap. The whole person was lying directly in Ling Shui's arms like a clingy kitten. After all, she calls Ling Shui her master, and she feels that she is Ling Shui's little pet. Of course a pet should always stick to its owner, right? Of course, Ling Shui did not refuse Ji Xiaoyao's bold behavior. To be honest, he does like this little girl. So, he sat at the top of the table and touched Ji Xiaoyao's little head with one hand. The other hand was playing with her slender, crystal clear legs. Such a scene made Xiao Xiao next to him suddenly widen his eyes. Why it's not me, I want this too, okay. I also want to be held in the arms of the young master like a little pet, okay. Xuan Mai Tianzong, there is nothing special about it. Ling Shui's voice then sounded slowly. In the entire Xuan Mai Tianzong, there is not even the existence of Jiwu realm. But, deep in the Xuan Mai Tianzong, there is an abyss, that abyss. Connected to the Void Clan. Oh, in the main hall, Yan Kui frowned slightly, so the Xuanmai Tianzong is secretly colluding with the Void Clan. Aura World, Foreign Land, Void World. The three are basically unrelated to each other. But the Xuanmai Tianzong is connected to the Void Clan. It seems, that the Void Clan does not intend to let go of this spiritual world. Chinger also smiled charmingly. She is a super strong person who survived from ancient times. At that time, the human race, the demon race, and the void race were still in a state of competition among the three races for hegemony. I thought that in today's era, the three tribes had occupied their respective territories and had nothing to do with each other. Unexpectedly. Dot the void clan has already secretly penetrated into the spiritual world. The struggle among the three clans for hegemony has never really stopped. Ling Shui said calmly, it's just a secret plan. Exotic monsters and void creatures. These later stages will continue to pour into this world. It's just that the time hasn't come yet. 
The Void Clan has actually been secretly trying every means to infiltrate the Aura world. Xuanmai Tianzong is one of the forces that has been infiltrated for a long time. Therefore, the Xuanmai Tianzong is a very annoying force. No matter what, I like to have a part in it. Its purpose, of course is to try every means to cause civil strife in the spiritual world. Let the world of Reiki consume itself internally. Let the Aura world be unable to grow, so that, it can be swallowed up by the Void Clan in the future. Therefore, the Demon Sect and the Xuanmai Tianzong have never had any disputes before, and the Xuanmai Tianzong will also take action against the Demon Sect this time. Since the Xuanmai Tianzong and the Void Clan are secretly colluding, then this attack, there is no need to hold back. Ling Shui continued. The entire army is dispatched, whether it is the Xuanmai Tianzong or the Void Clan, kill them all. Xuanmai Tianzong is secretly protected by strong men from the Void Clan. So, this attack will not only destroy the Xuanmai Tianzong. He also wants to wipe out all the powerful men of the Void Clan. You should buy peace with the Void Clan that is working secretly. Yes, Yan Kui and others nodded heavily. If the Void Clan wants to invade their world, of course you're welcome. The other party made the move first, so no one can blame him. At this moment, a guard ran in from the main hall, knelt down and said, Master Demon Lord, meet the clan girls. As soon as these words came out, Ling Shui was slightly curious, Dragon Clan. Dragon Clan, the rulers of the Holy Beast Continent. The Dragon King of the Dragon Clan is a woman. There has been no movement from the Tianlong Clan these days. Now they come to your door. Let her in. Ling Shui then said calmly. Needless to say, Everyone knows that the Queen of the Dragon Clan came to negotiate with the Qinling Ancient Clan before. Let's see if this Dragon Queen. Dot has anything to offer her. Yes, the guard nodded, got up and went out. Not long after, a figure slowly walked into the hall. A luxurious white dress, beautiful appearance. She is not very old, but she carries a certain innate dignity of a queen. Around her, there was a white dragon looming. There was an indescribable calmness and indifference in those cold beautiful eyes. It was as if nothing in this world could be kept in her heart. This white dragon girl with noble temperament and beautiful appearance is naturally the leader of the dragon clan today. The queen of the dragon clan, Long Yanren. She just walked in. She was alone, without any escort from the dragon clan. Because she is here to negotiate terms. Nowadays, the only way to keep the Dragon Clan safe and sound is to come and negotiate with Ling Shui. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.